Okay, looks like we're all recording, so welcome everybody. As you can see from the title, we're going to be playing a game called Black and White 3. So, I played an older version of this during a Wonderbox segment, where I just kind of like look at games for a little while, and this seemed pretty cool. I was sent an updated version of it recently, and I've also played some of this dev's other games, like Unova Red and Kalos Crystal. Let me go ahead and just set the text speed to fast. That's the main thing. Let me just go to the title screen right quick there. Yeah, there you go. Get a quick look at that. Now let's hop in a new game and let's do this. This was the one I believe um, I, di I fished in a cave somewhere and I found a glitch Pokemon by mistake. That's just how it works for me. Uh, We'll just do this. Make it the middle of the day. Actually, if I set it a little later, I could possibly do some di some streams during the day, some streams during the night. Let's just make it this. Set the minutes, because I don't know if this game lets you change the clock like some of the other ones. There we go. Hmm. Oh, you must be the new trainer I was asked about. I'm the new Pokemon professor here in the Unova region. My name is Professor Bell, but that's way too formal. You can just call me Professor Bianca. Hi there! Welcome to the world of Pokemon. I recently became the Pokemon professor here in Unova. That's right. This world is widely inhabited by mysterious creatures called Pokemon. Pokemon have mysterious powers. They come in many shapes and live in many different places. We humans live happily with Pokemon. Living and working together, we complement each other. Having Pokemon battles is super popular and fun. And it's a great way for people and Pokemon to become closer. Well, that's enough for me. Could you tell me about yourself? Sure, why don't I? I'd like to know your name. Please tell me. Pardon me, I still feel like I'm recovering a bit. Uh, right before I hit record for uh, the YouTube audience, I, like, took a drink of my water and I, like, choked on it. So, great start to the day, I know. Let's go with that. So, your name's Asprey? No, no, we don't need to do Uwu Bianca voice right now. I don't want to scare away the new viewers. What a wonderful name. I've been told you would make a great Pokemon trainer. So I'm going to send you a Pokemon. I'm sure it will be great, or you'll be great partners. The moment you choose the Pokemon who will accompany you in your journey, your story will truly begin. I really hope you learn what is important to you as a result of your travels. That's right. Befriend new people in Pokemon and grow as a person. That's the most important goal of your journey. Let's go visit the world of Pokemon. Okay, let me turn up the audio now. Listen to that. It's Humilao City, right? That's how you say it? Also, yeah, look at this. Built-in run button. Look at me go. The D-made music was, like, something I really remember liking. Heck yeah. It's a TV. A whole collection of Pokemon picture books. And is this the, the town map? Yep. The entirety of Unova. Obviously, this takes place after Black and White 2, but it's a fan game, of course. Go the Pokemon League, Victory Road. Everything is there. Look at it. I'm told there's even post-game content in this, too. We're not going to do a Pokedex run. And there's the spots for Black and White 2, right? Okay. Um, yeah, I believe the deck size is 252, because it uses Crystal version as a base. You can complete the decks in single player, but I'm just going to be doing a casual run through because we already did a decks playthrough for the last couple things. Okay. Oh, Asprey, it's about time you got up. Marlin, the gym leader, stopped by asking for you. Go st yeah, stop by his house and see what he needs. Oh, and before you go out, make sure you take your X-Trans saver with you. Heck yeah. You can use the X-Transceiver to check the time and to make phone calls. Hold on, remind me, what day is it today? Uh, Thursday. Is it Daylight Savings Time? Let's just do that. Remember to adjust for Daylight Savings Time on the menu. Now hurry on over to Marlin's house and see what he has. Hang on. What about... Uh, White Forest and Black City? Can I get to that? Hang on. I can only press up and down the cycle through things. 
Wellspring Cave, Dream Yard. Is there a way to see there? What is that? World Tournament's there. Oh, wow. Oh, Chargestone Cave. There's all this stuff here. I don't actually remember where uh, Black City and White Forest are actually positioned on the map, but I just cycled through everything and I didn't see anything. Strange House. What's that? Okay. Umi Lao City. Let's see what's in the fridge. Fresh water and tasty lemonade. Hello, Asprey. Your mom and I have a date at the Marine Tube later today. Oh, and have you heard? My daughter is adamant about becoming Marlin's assistant. She really loves Pokemon. I like the little screens that Homi Lao City have, but I'd be terrified to sit there. Like, what if it cracks? Hmm. Pardon me. I hope my throat doesn't sound weird. That sneeze messed me up. No, not sneeze, choking. Isn't it peaceful living out here in the waves? Also, look at that water. Game Boy Color water right there. That's really impressive. This is quite like, uh, a, like a major step up from like their other games, like Unova Red and Kalos Crystal. Those were good, but the main point of those was just, you know, put Unova and Kalos Pokemon in the game. Technology is incredible. People can now modify games and share them on the internet. You hear that? People can do that. But good teddies know when to keep quiet. Right, chat? Marlin's house. Hello. Hello, Asprey. Marlin was waiting for you until just a few minutes ago. He got a phone call and just left all of a sudden. Of course, he didn't mention where he was going. I think he was headed to Route 22. That's dangerous outside of town. There are wild Pokemon out there. You better not go after him alone. Oh, wait. Marlin brought some Pokemon home with him today. He left them in those Pokeballs on the table. I'm sure he wouldn't mind if you took one with you for safety. There are three Pokemon here. Go ahead, pick your favorite. Okay, I think I'm gonna take the pig, because why not? I got pig. Ain't that nice. Give a nickname to it? No, thank you. The other ones are Snivy and Oshawott, if that's not assumed. Route 22 is west of town, across the bridge. Here, take this so you don't get lost. Down map. I think Teddy would be good friends with, uh, the pig. Tepig. The pig. Asprey put the town map in the key pocket. Okay. I believe there's more item space in the pack as well. Not that you can really tell by looking at this. This here. Have a little look around. I still can't get over that water. Like, it looks very gelatinous, but for Game Boy Color, it's pretty, pretty good looking for sure. Hang on. Let's take a look at it. By the way, I believe the physical special split is in this game. Hornberry, Tackle, Tail Whip. Looks like it's got some attack. Chat, would you boop the pig? He seems like a friend. I was trying to get into the marine tube to reach on Delatown, but it's crowded with tourists. Okay. It looks like the gym leader is away. Darn, I wanted to challenge the gym. By the way, how's the audio? Should I turn it up a little bit? Morning, Vampy. Welcome. I took my girlfriend on vacation here. Sure must be nice living out here. Whoa, the ocean view is beautiful. Sounds good. Okay. Here's the center. Oh, look at the inside of this. I'm sure I've seen some of this stuff before, but I don't remember because it's probably been close to two years. A year and a half, maybe, since I played it. All right, here's some advice from a guy who spends all of his time at Pokemon Centers. When your Pokemon have low HP, make sure to heal them. It's so convenient having the Mart built into the center. It's your one-stop shop for all things Pokemon. That PC is free for any trainer to use. Okay. I wonder if I should... Can't buy Pokeballs yet. But I will buy a couple potions for the road, because you never know. I love the look of Game Boy style assets a lot. Now then, I gotta go up over here into the west side of town. But I think I have to loop around. Hi, Asprey. If you're planning on leaving town, it's a good idea to stop by the Pokemart. They have all kinds of things that will help you out. Excellent. 
Yeah, we recently completed another Pokedex playthrough, so I thought a casual run for a game like this would be kind of nice. Before we jump into something ridiculous like the Egglock. I want to go play in the grass, but my mom says it's dangerous. I sure wish I had a Pokemon to take with me. Oh wow, what a cute Pokemon. Hey, this must be it. Now let's have a little look around here. There's a spooky cave at the end of this path. Be careful if you go in there. Here, take this. I should It should help you out. Nice. Yeah, this is a story mod. Seems like there's a lot to it. Hang on. I want to run into something. What can I catch here? Well, I can't... I don't have any Pokeballs yet, so I have to... So I probably shouldn't run into too much. Give him a boop. Listen to that Gen 5 D-Make music. Heck yeah. What city is that? That was Humilao City from Black and White 2. That's your starter town here. Everyone get comfy. There is a physical special split, yeah. Did, did a quick check to see if that was in. It also has fairy type. It, this hill is high. You can jump off these ledges to get down quickly. Try it, it's fun. Hatchrat does look a little angry. Yes, he does. We should push for some extra EXP, though, because why not? The faster we learn Ember, the faster our starter is useful. Of course, by picking the fire type, uh, the first gym being water type puts me at a bit of a disadvantage, but we can work with that. We're gonna catch a whole team. Epic is never useful. Lies. I probably should have taken the Orinberry away, but it doesn't matter. Orinberries aren't useful for very long anyway. I don't think this is a super high, like, difficulty mod or anything like that. I've only run into Patch Rats so far. Potion. Okay, we'll take more potions. That's probably another berry there. Yeah, we'll take this with us. Anyways, I hope you're all doing comfy today. I was kind of unsure if I even wanted the stream today. I've been having a lot of bad sick nights lately. Hey, there's Pidov. Unsurprising. I want that level 6, so let's go. You think I should try fishing in the cave? Because last time I did that in the old version, I found an accidental, like, uh, missing no glitch. I'm almost positive the dev fixed that, though. Like, the game has been updated. They haven't specifically told me anything about that, that one spot, but I'm... They had to have seen that. Okay, give it a boop. And... Are we getting level 6? Heck yeah. Giant Chasm. Just, you know, casually go the Giant Chasm. That's not the place where Kyurem is, is it? Or is that a different place? Because I can't for the life of me remember. Yes, I have the package. I managed to snag it from the gym while the leader was away. I don't think the gym leader followed me. Hey, you. Get out of here. Forget what you saw. Okay, then. Hang on. Pretty sure I'm supposed to just go down and exit. Look at that balloon, friend. Nobody likes Muna. Nobody. Whoopsie. I want to get that item first. Hang on. No, I don't need to go up there. We need to go down here to leave. Good old Zubat. I sure am excited to use that, like always. Let me just run from this. Route 13. Oh, they're having a little battle. Stop bothering me. I'll battle you when I'm finished. Hey, watch out. We're in the middle of a Pokemon battle. Can't walk around them. Heck yeah. Comfy music. Which stops as soon as I walk in the Pokemon Center. Darn it! What is it called? Lacunosa Town? That's a good track. I really haven't been able to appreciate a lot of black and white music lately. 
Hope to see you again. What do you got? A lady named uh, Aman Amanita that made the Pokemon PC storage system. It was several years ago now. Team Plasma was up to no good with Pokemon, but justice prevailed. A young kid broke him up. Wait, that's twice now that happens. Here is a little advice. Keep a lot of potions. Keep a lot of Pokeballs, too. I'm pretty sure I can't buy them yet. Nope. I have to complete, like, the errand or something for this. Try talking to people that you meet. They may give you something useful. Oh, yeah, listen to that. And that's comfy music right there. Hang on. This, re this requires some teddy bops. Heck yeah. Listen to that. That's a nice remix. Let the bears bop right there. Hmm. Okay, put the bears away now. <laughs> it's a very ho it sounds very wholesome in 8-bit, doesn't it? Oh, you must be from out of town. Welcome to Lakunosa Town. The girls in the house at the end of the path sure do love berries. Chat is just filled with the, the Bop and Teddy Ursa emote now. Darn, the mark's out of Pokeballs. I wanted to catch some Pokemon out on Route 12. Are there Teddies in this game? I actually don't know. But I can tell you that's the deciding factor on whether this game is a 9 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10. You know, Pokemon eat berries. Different berries help Pokemon in different ways. Here, I'll share ones with you. Catch your berry. Check trees for berries. They drop right off. You know, Pokemon eat berries. Different berries help Pokemon in different ways. Here we go. Cherry berry. Or is it cherry berry? I don't know if we're snobs about how we pronounce things in Pokemon. Pokemon in Route 12 are different from the ones in Route 13. You can find items hidden on the ground sometimes. Check out any places that seem suspicious. I wonder if that means there's anything right here. Ah, well, I'm not gonna hunt for hidden items. This is a good-looking tile set, by the way. Like, look at this. This looks really, get, really like, great for, um, like, Gen 2 there. I'm, like, flubbing my words already. Hold up, did I check here? Have you heard of the hidden grottos? If you see a dark spot between trees, check inside. Pokemon like to stash shiny items they find in there. Come back after a while, you may find something new. Okay, make a quick save. Never know if there could be crashes. There could be Cub Chew. Aw, the music's over. And now it's back. Oh, sorry, we have to leave. Welcome, uh, Pokemon Battles. I don't know why I read the word welcome first. Am I, like, asleep? Welcome battles begin when eyes meet. If I were a Pokemon trainer, you and I would be welcoming right now. But I don't have any welcomes yet. See what I did right there? I took the joke and I beat it until it was dead. I don't think I can go between these trees. This route is so nice. It's close to town, so I don't have to worry about my Pokemon feigning. It's a fruit-bearing tree. Give me that orange berry. Oh yeah, I gotta make sure my sitting's good. Hmm, doesn't look like I can squeeze between any of these. I think I battle you, right? I should probably give you another berry. Or, hang on, how close am I to another level? This should be fine with an orange berry. I want to catch stuff soon. Darn, what a lousy time for the bridge to be out. What? You again? I told you not to follow me. I guess I'll have to teach you a lesson. It's Hugh's theme, right? Man, I always forget everything about Hugh. Punk girl would like to battle. She's got a little sea otter. Give me that boo. Punk girl with midriff? Yes, she is. Who's Hugh? I don't know. Do you know who his sister is? Because she also doesn't have a name. Go, go, go. 
poor baby otter. Its head is a snow cone. Ooh! That otter hit me with a crit. Oshawa always looks sad. I'm not dead. I'm alive. Sixty-six. Little through to level seven. Ember? Okay, perfect. Darn, I wasn't good enough. Got the radically long side ponytail, too. Doesn't matter. That package wasn't what I was looking for anyway. You can have it back. It's useless to me. My name's Infer. Remember my name. It's gonna be the- I'm gonna be the strongest Pokemon trainer in the world. Don't follow me. Asprey. Hey, that was some battle. Sorry I didn't step in earlier. Saw you battling. Oh, this is the Gen 3 rival theme. Saw you battle and I wanted to see how you'd hang in there. I'm impressed. You're a natural with Pokemon. Oh, that reminds me. I'd ask you to swing by my place today. See, ever since you and your mom moved out this way, I've had this feeling that you'd make a pretty fine Pokemon trainer. So I asked the professor to send over some Pokemon for you to pick from. Looks like my hunch was right. Ooh, my package. That's right, that girl ran off with a package from my gym, so I took off and trailed her here. Or tailed her here. Looks like you managed to get it back. Go ahead, open it up. Got a Pokédex. I'll keep track of any Pokémon, or it'll keep track. Goodness, can't read today. Come across. Professor sent it for you along with the Pokémon. Wonder what that girl wanted with it. Oh, now that you have a Poké- yeah, Pokédex, you should have some of these. I thought he was going to say Pokemon, but actually the next line went to Dex. Put the Pokeball in the ball pocket. You can use those to catch Pokemon. Well, I think I'm going to head on down to Undella Town. You can get there by passing through La uh, Lacunosa Town, and then just head south along the beach on Route 13. I'll meet you there. Okay, so... Can't go this way, right? Wait, sorry, the village bridge is closed off right now. The path has been flooded. It's going to take some time before the path is cleared, so come back later. Let's go. Let's go. More pit ofs. I've only seen patch rats, pit ofs, rog and rollas, and zubats, but I'm pretty sure more can show up around here. Hang on. Just adjust a little bit. Don't know if the audio is too loud when we're getting to a battle. We're having roasted pigeon tonight, everybody. Oh yeah, Muna. The game is a little loud now. Hang on. When it gets into a battle, it kind of does, doesn't it? Hang on, let me turn it down a couple more decibels. Hmm, pardon me. Now, did I check this? Nothing else? Okay. Route 12 is a good place to find wild Pokemon. I'm looking for a Shroomish, or maybe a Ralts. Oh, right, Ralts does show up here. So I have access to early grass types. Oh, look, there's a Shroomish right there. Problem is, my starter's already gonna be a fi uh, fighting type anyway, so... No real reason to catch this. Ralts is always cool. I suppose I wouldn't want to go Gallade, because that would be doubling up on fighting types, as I said. Finishing off. There's no abilities here, so I don't have to worry about, um, effects for. When I catch Pokemon casually, I prefer to want to catch things that I can use in the long run. There's a Lillipop. Hang on. Give me a level 8, because why not? Ooh, we burned the puppy. Little pup is hurt by its burn. I'll take it out. I don't need it. What's my stats look like right now? 
Okay, attack is definitely the leading one for sure. Let me try another encounter here. Because there's another route up ahead we can check out. Okay, more puppies. Ralts could be a rare encounter. Run from that, friend. How many Pokeballs did Marlin just give me? Five. I could use some more. Let me check the Mart. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. I, I was about to say, geez, did the game crash? Hi, this is Asprey. Is this Asprey? This is Professor Bianca. I see Marlin gave you the Pokedex I sent. If you are ever unsure on where to go next, give me a call. I'll try to help. If you're ever near Nuvema Town, Nuvema Town, however you say it, stop by for a visit. Good luck. Listen to this comfy music, because it's gone now. Let's get some Pokeballs, because I'm going to need quite a few of these, I feel. That'll do for now. I said I was choking a little bit earlier. I I'm in no condition to do an oo voice for Bianca. You can tell how much your opponent wants to fight by looking into their eyes, don't you think? I should really catch something in the upcoming grass so I have something to use on the trainers. Or something else to train on the trainers. Youngster Danton. Let's go. He's got a rodent. Burn the rodents. Patrat used Leer. He's got those cheeks. He's, he's saving his, like, uh, food or whatever in his cheeks. That's the thing they do. Okay, that was good. Wow, I could tell you really wanted to win. I'm gonna keep battling to make my Pokemon stronger. You're pretty good. You can call me if you want a rematch. Would you tell me your number? Sure. Who knows if this game adds a whole lot to this mechanic. Maybe more items? Maybe actual higher level opponents? Call me whenever you're looking for a match. By the way, have any of you guys noticed a hidden grotto anywhere? I haven't seen, like, any openings with the trees that I can interact with yet. I feel like there should have been one on that route over there, but I didn't notice. Hang on, let me check the grass now. Grass. Wild Pokemon. There we go. Azuril. Azuril? Why would I use Azuril? Not to mention, Azumarill's not gonna have its ability. That would be terrible to use. There's a Badoo. Hmm. That could be... I may, may as well try this as my grass type. That means we can get a Rose Raid. Attack one up. Okay. Catch it. Badoo evolves by friendship. And, um... Well, actually, it's friendship in the day, isn't it? I don't know if this game implements that or if it just makes it pure friendship. And shiny stone on uh, Roselia to Rose Raid. Gen 2 does have the mechanic for Espeon. I wonder if they just make it pure friendship, though, just for convenience sake. It is sensitive to changing weather when it feels the warmth of the sun. Its bud is going to bloom. Does it use the crystal mechanic of doubling friendship on the route where it's caught? That's a good question. This would be a good chance to actually really increase its friendship quickly, if that's the case. I remember I exploited that a lot in Pokemon Fool's Gold to get some of those dex entries that required. Also, look at these sprites. They look nice. Okay, let's take our time and train it up. Again, we're not going for dex completion. I just wanted to play something a little casually here. Excellent. What moves I got? Absorb and growth. Let's go back and heal at the center right quick. Something music ends as soon as we walk in the center. Excellent, excellent. 
I can always revisit for a Dex playthrough, too. Like, a couple of games I've beaten, like Blaze and Emerald, and I kind of want to go back for Dex completion on a new version. Oops. Didn't mean to press up. This game has, like, a lot of, like, new visual assets and all that. It's one of those games where you just want to run around and play it. It's not like Fool's Gold, where every Pokemon has a new form, so you want to find everything there. Take it easy. Enjoy the story. Okay, so Waddle. Let's do a quick switch here. But Dew really needs another attack. I need to adjust the headphone slider for me. Gen 2 games can be a little bit loud. Above well, grass means it's getting killed. Thank you for the sub there, friend. Welcome. If there are teddy bears in this game, it'd be great. I don't think there's any Hisuian stuff added to the game. But I didn't see anything listed about that. Like, if Teddy was in the game before and the new version put in Ursa Luna, that'd be cool, but that's kind of, like, difficult to do. Hey, you see my cute Pokemon? Take a look. Hisuian. Now, now be silent here. I'm about to take out the Banhammer. Last Lori. Purloin. I never really liked Purloin. Can I fight? Let's find out. Ooh. How much does Scratch do? Is Badoo stupid weak? Oh, that was a crit? If I use a growth and heal off of that, maybe I should be fine. Okay, lower my attack. No big deal. Hang on a second here. Uh, okay, uh, the menu actually shows if a move is special or physical. That's that's handy. Usually I don't even bother looking at the top text, because I think it's useless in the vanilla Gen 2. Gen 5 growth, heck yeah. I actually did do a Pokedex playthrough for one of Asher Keys' games. It was the, the first one I beat was Unova Red. That game was just Pokemon Red version, but everything was replaced with the Unova Pokemon. It was pretty fun. A lot of legendaries had to be put in weird places, though, I remember. And Gen 1 catching mechanics, I learned, can be real rough. I love listening to D-Made music. It's great. When people just make, like, 8-bit 8 8-bit versions of stuff like this, it's fantastic. Okay, we're gonna keep in Badoo, and we're gonna switch. I don't like nicknaming Pokemon in Gen 2 games, because... When it comes to using the PC storage system in the first two gens, I hate it. It's, it's like, really annoying to look at, especially in the English version where the text font is larger. Stretch? Yeah, I should. I will. Unironically, I do need to do that a bit more. I've, like I mentioned, I had some sick nights, and man, I've not been on my feet too much between streams. My Pokémon are cute, even if they lose. 72. Okay. Got a Petra Berry. Got a Pokeball. That's pretty nice. Hold that thought. My favorite class is Math. What a dork. Yeah, let's hydrate. Wet or whistle for a long stream day. Azura looks so happy in this sprite, which is really unusual. Because normally, Azuril looks horrified in, like, most of its sprites after Gen 3. So squishy. Normal and fairy-type, though. Never really made sense to me how this Pokémon debuted as a normal-type when it's a baby form of a water family. There we go. Absorb. Close. But Doom is doing okay by itself. Growth on honestly isn't a bad side option. I don't really know how the difficulty is for this game at all. I'm just gonna play it and have fun. Games like these are just, you know, fun. 21. Insightful commentary, I know. 12. Yesterday we did a difficult stream of doing all of Resident Evil 3 in one go. So, we've earned... We've earned a little break. I'm gonna switch out, make sure Badoo gets the EXP. The trainer Badoo are weaker than the one I caught. Mine was caught at level 4. 
Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of Gen 5 tracks I really didn't, like, appreciate too much. Gen 5, I have not really played as much as other ones. Especially when it comes to mods and randos. Gen 5 came out around that time in my life when, like, um... I was just kind of starting to finish high school and prepare for, like, college and all that, so I didn't really have as much time for Pokemon anymore. School kid Jules about to send out Igglybuff. Okay, I'm gonna do the switch again. Actually, maybe I could just growth kill this thing. Assume it doesn't sweet kiss me. Let's use growth. Okay, defense curl. That doesn't matter. And then as I got older, of course, uh, many of you know the story. I went to college for art. It was a massive waste of time. And I, I left it, and I made a YouTube channel, and now this is my job. So I think things worked out in the end. Now suddenly I have a lot more time to play Pokemon. And I get paid for it. Okay, almost got it. Igglybuff looks like it's coming for a hug. That's right. What did I learn at art college? I learned that art college is not worth paying for. 24. That's the th that's the main thing I learned. Oh no, how can I lose? If a Pokemon were a subject at school, I'd be the best. Oh. That's a puppy. You know what's really funny is, like, I actually uh, had a high school class where I learned how to edit, like, use editing software. So I learned more for YouTube in high school than I did in college, for sure. I think I can easily get a level up off this puppy here, so I'm just gonna use a growth to take it out. That is true, yeah. Igglybuff and Jigglypuff, they actually, like, float away on the wind in Scarlet and Violet. It's a funny little detail when you see them just flying overhead. They've been called away, their people need them. One of the art schools you went to, they they ended up shutting them down. Oh, yeah, that doesn't shock me. They're fun. Does Tackle have 100% accuracy? Hang on, it's a good question. Oh, Poison Powder, nice. Yeah, Gen 5 has 100% on Tackle, but then they changed it back again. Let me check Tepig for this. Oops, wrong thing. Tackle's at 100 and Power is 40. Okay. No grotto here. Oh, is the, is the power the difference for it? I don't know. I thought accuracy for tackle has changed. Or did it used to be 95 and then it became 100 for a while? Probably. This Badoo is a friend. I like it. I'm the strongest trainer in my class. Well, bro, you're about to be the weakest trainer today. Look at that guy. The, hi the highlight for him <laughs> makes it look like he's pale as pale as a zombie. I get it's because of the limited colors there for recreating the Gen 5 sprite. <laughs> it just sticks out to me. Okay. Yeah, did Tackle used to be like 30, 35 power? I don't know. I don't really memorize stuff like that. It's usually not that important. Set the Swaddle on fire. I'm not even sure if Swaddle family is good, but Bug Grass is usually not that great. Venipede. Okay, I'll just let Tepig take it out. I don't want to switch into getting poisoned. That's 35 power and 95 accuracy. Okay, yeah. Give it a couple extra 5%'s, not bad. Guess I'm not the strongest in the world. I know, I'll go home and take a nap. Words to live by. Got a potion. So those so those stairs there basically put you in a little cutscene. They can be cut down. You walk on them, it automatically pushes you down. Walking up them would be weird with this camera angle. I guess it makes sense to do it like that. 
Oh, nice, there was something there. Okay, Gen 5 had 50 power on tackle until 7 changed it again. Oh, okay. Route 13, a beachside stroll from Undela Town to Lacunosa Town. Hey, where's the where's the singing guys blocking the way? This isn't Unova. Also, awesome music is back. Everybody jam. Wonder how many kinds of Pokemon there are in the world. We now know of over 600 kinds. Not in this game. Living out here by the beach is so pleasant. The marine tube has made it convenient to travel quickly to uh, Humilao City. This remix is so nice. Oh, Marlin, why'd you have to stop it? Come on, bro. Hey, Asprey. I'm sure you got a taste of Pokemon battling on the way here. By the way, some Pokemon trainers are having a contest down on Route 14 just south of town. There's a prize for anyone who can beat all of them. It should give you some sweet experience. After that, you may even be ready to take on my gym. By the way, the marine tube here in town can take you right back home to Humilao City real quick. Come on by the gym when you're ready. I'll be waiting for you. Okay. Also, we're back to comfy music. Hang on, let me just use the Pokemon Center and we can let the music play. I know y'all want to groove to Lakanosa Town again. Thank you for waiting, your Pokemon are fully healed. I don't remember what the marine tube looks like exactly, but... Do you know how to fish? There's a master who lives in town. I'm sure he could teach you. Uh, Aman Amanita? Is that how you say it? I, I feel like I'm saying her name wrong. I have to be. And store up to 20 Pokemon per box. Gen 2 limitations. Hang on. Which house, house is Cynthia's normally? I feel like breaking into a dance right now, too. This town is a great fishing spot. How about you? Would you like one of my rods? Eh, good to hear. Now yeah, you're an angler, too. Asper put the old rod in the key pocket. Fishing is great. If there's water, be it sea or stream, try out your rod. I can't resist. I have to put bears on screen again. Heck yeah. Doesn't matter if it scares away people. They're grooving. I wanted to learn how to fish for Pokemon, but my mom says it's too dangerous. Marine tube. Passage to Humilao City. Is this Cynthia's house? Huh? It's locked. Girl saw me wandering in the town with my level 9 Tepig and just locked her door. She's scared. Terrified. People scared by bopping bears? Well, people uh, scared of me just having, like, too many things on screen. Like, you know, the big streamer bells and whistles, but... Bopping bears are an exception. Look at them. Oh, there's Pearl there. Look at them groove! Gotta be one of the best emotes ever. They're having a great time. I should fish something up for a water type. Ooh. Part's good. Oh, oh, it's a trainer battle. Okay, good catch. My next catch will be called Victory. Let's go. Fisher Sid would like to battle. Well, this should be easy. I should be able to fish up Tim Pole myself, right? I've never actually used, um... I've never actually used Seismitoad in any playthrough, so that could be fun. Bubbles. You fool. Then I'll have a Grass, Water, and Fire type. I don't know if friendship requirements have been, like, uh, dialed back. Normally in Vanilla Gen 2, friendship takes forever. Um, I could always make sure to get an extra level on the way back, assuming the, um, the route, the, the met on the certain route mechanic still works. Tim Pole, let's go. Palpatode is a very hideous looking middle evolution, yeah. Seismitoad looks like, um, I feel like if you add a few extra details to Seismitoad, it looks like it could be a monster in, like, any RPG. 
just kind of there. Seismitoad's water ground, right? Yeah, it's water ground. I don't really know what Seismitoad really does. The victory that got away was this big. Let's try... Register this. Everybody groove to the music before it's gone. Oh, hell yeah. I feel sad. This is a, such a nice remix. I want to listen to it. Okay, here's a Tim Pole. Um, will it die one hit? I don't remember what level the fisherman I just beat was. Okay, this should be fine then. Good, I'm not going to attack again. Games like these, you know, can be a good opportunity to use Pokemon you normally don't. Don't use Tepig really that much. I think most of the time I do anything Gen 5, I just use, um, I just use Samurott. Okay, new Pokemon caught. They warn others of danger by vibrating their cheeks to create high-pitched sound. Let's take a look at it. Now look at that sprite, it looks so upset. It's like, dude, why'd you catch me? Yeah, it's mono water until it evolves. Bubble, growl. It's got more attack than special. Is Seismitoad supposed to be a physical attacker? I think it, it's meant to like earthquake, right? It's gonna be extra weak to grass types, but we'll see how this works out. This little beachside town is so nice for fishing. You want to learn to fish? Go see the fishing guru. Seismitoad can do either. Okay, sounds good. It could be my surf user. I'll battle you with my freshly caught Pokemon. Okay, not bad. What other water types really are there in Unova? Well, apparently the Mantike family is here. But, uh, you can't, you can't get me to use to use Mantine for anything. Basculin. Yeah, but Basculin... Is Basculin even good? Well, I guess it has Basculegion now, but not in this game it does. Like, the whole gimmick of Basculin was like, hey, this one has a red spot on it, this one has a blue spot on it, and then the player base is like, I don't care. <laughs> That's what that happens, yeah. Swana. Yeah... Water flying types are pretty meh, because we all know Gyarados exists, right? Alamomola. I guess, I don't know if that's any good without abilities and stuff, though, right? I suppose there's the ghost water one, the jellyfish. That's cool. Be healed, Badoo. Be healed. I probably should have finished off this level in the northern route so I get the extra friendship buff, but oh well. I'm sure I'll be able to reach Roselia relatively quickly. Damn. I wonder if this game can implement the differences for the Jellison family. Because, like, the, the girl ones are pink, the guy ones are blue, right? Ooh, that was... that was definitely worth it. Oh, pardon me. I feel like I'm holding back a cough. I lost it. Yes, you did, Hubert. I got Badoo high enough, so let's let Tim Pole get a battle or two in. Tepe can switch in. The kids at the school put on a contest for Pokemon trainers in Route 14. Beat all five trainers, you receive a prize. What can I find here? Hmm. Electros isn't water type though, but it is a fish looking creature. The back sprites look really nice. I suppose it would be easy to take a frame of the back sprites in Gen 5 though, and kind of like recolor them in the style of this, wouldn't it? Let's go. As Gen 5 back sprites show the whole thing. Archaeops won't have defeatist. For that reason alone, I feel like they probably wouldn't put in Archaeops, would they? 
That would be kind of scary. Oh, that's right. Doesn't Jellicent have uh, Levitate? So it wouldn't have it in this game. Snubble's here. Never really cared much for Granbull and Snubble, though, even though they're fairy types now. Charm, no big deal. Not too bad that I have some mixed attack in Pokemon right now. Rose Raid is definitely special focus when it comes down to it. I hope it learns Energy Ball via level up. Go for it. Oh, Jellison doesn't have Levitate, it gets Water Absorb, Damp, or Cursed Body. Electros is Levitate. Oh, that's who you're talking about. You're right, of course, I misread. That Pokemon's whole gimmick is that its only weakness is, um, like, cancelled by an ability. And it doesn't have that here, so it probably isn't that great. Let's heal up. Ugh, pardon me, let me get some water. Even with the ability, it's not great. Snubble and Granbull would be okay if they had Intimidate, but they don't have that here because no abilities. But it was about to level up, so let me just get the Friendship buff up here. Because this uses Crystal version as a base, um, if you level up a Pokemon in Crystal version on the route you caught it, it gets double the Friendship. It's a very, like lesser-known mechanic, because it's only in Crystal. They never brought it back for any future games. And, but, I have played a few, like, hacks that use Crystal as a base, where it definitely applies. Either because the devs just completely forgot about it or something, I don't know. No, it's not in Gold and Silver. And, fun fact, Gold and Silver have no way to track where a Pokémon was caught. Only Crystal version does. So if you trade a Pokémon from Crystal to Gold and Silver, the game just erases that, like, memoried, like, memorized data. Same applies if you transfer it back to back and forth from Gen 1 as well. Pokémon just develops amnesia when you trade it. Excellent. Okay. Okay, Stun Spore is nice. Darn. There's too much to hope I could just level up. Is there a way to check friendship on this screen? Some games implemented that. Doesn't look like there is one here, no. Okay. Now let's go back to the southern route. Hmm. Anything here? I know that for transferring to Gen 1 and 2, like, you know how when you get Pokerus, um, like, the game, like, gives you that dot once it wears off? Let me try over here, actually. So it can't get it again. If you trade a Pokemon who has, like, cured Pokerus back to, to, to Gen 1 and then trade it back to 2, obviously the game can't remember Pokerus, so it just acts like the Pokemon was never even infected in the first place. Oh, Friend Ball. Save that for Teddy's. Remember, when Pokemon games trade, they're not actually transferring data. They're making a copy of it, deleting the original, and sending it to the other game. So whenever you trade your Pokemon, you're actually killing them. Anyway, I hope you're all enjoying this series. Because I just feel like... I felt like, uh, just ruining it for you all of you right now. <laughs> Wait. Reversal Mountain is a dangerous place full of wild Pokemon. You should at least have a gym badge before entering a place like this. Is that how teleporters work in Star Trek? I've never seen Star Trek, so... I know that's how a lot of teleporters are, are uh, depicted in fiction. Yeah, whenever you trade something through Pokebank or anything, you're not transferring anything. The game is just making a copy of that data and updating it to whatever rules apply to the future gen. Doesn't that, like, hurt you now that you know that? I'm glad. We're the five trainers of the Undela Town School. Can you beat us all? Now, chat, if teleportation devices really work like that, which they kind of have to, would you use one? I wouldn't. I sure as heck wouldn't. That'd be messed up.
Imagine if the device glitched. Oh yeah, if there's one thing that humanity is great at, it's making technology that always works 100% of the time. If you want to make this this little discussion even more more of a mind like uh, a mind blowing thing, I, don't know, I can't think of a good term here to describe it. Think about this for a second. You know how your body is always replacing cells, right? Like, cells die, it makes new ones. Like, over the course of your life, all the cells in your body have been replaced multiple times. So can you even say you're the same person you were when you were born, if every cell inside you is no longer the same? Doesn't that freak you out to think about? Chipathesius rules, that's right. Lillipop. Hmm. Stop. <laughs> no! You're going to think about these philosophical questions while I play the baby Pokemon game. That's what you all signed up for. Excellent. Your body is now filled with dread. Just get in a teleporter and hope the dread doesn't go with it. Excellent. All transport has risks. Uh, risks. That's true. You're basically deciding, do you want a chance of a car accident or a chance of a teleporter accident? I think about the weird cells in your body being replaced thing. Yeah, uh, nine hours, nine persons, nine doors brought it up and it, like, I can't, I've, I've thought about it a lot since then. No, don't bite the pig. Damn it. That's what I get for focusing on Badoo too much. That's okay. Also, yeah, their levels jump to eight. I didn't even notice. Wasn't I, like, fighting level four or five Pokemon uh, previously? Eight. Look at that. Preschooler Freddy was defeated. What? I lost? That's right, Preschooler. I just beat up your puppy. What are you gonna do about it? Let's enjoy the Undela Town music while I go heal. Came here for a wholesome bear stream, not ex existential crisis. Okay, hang on, hang on. You want wholesome bears? I'll give you wholesome bears. There you go. What, what are we talking about? Nothing. Just look at the bears. Just look at the teddy bears. Yeah. They're out of sync? Yeah. That can- that happens sometimes. It's okay. Focus on them being out of sync. Got an antidote. Okay, I'll put the bears away. Oop. Maybe there'll be a teddy on this route. Hello, child. I'm number two. I won't go easy. Jill would like to battle. Mareep! That's a sheep. Thank you for the sub there, friend. Oh, did I miss one there, too? Uh, thank you, fertilizer. Sorry, I was too busy of uh, scaring the audience with my uh, cell talk. <laughs> Send in pig now. Mareep used growl. Yeah, thank you, fertilizer. I'm just wondering if I missed anything else when I was rambling. No, looks like I didn't. I'm good. Set the sheep on fire. We're having lamb chops tonight. If we get really hungry on the road, remember, Tepig already cooks itself. Tepig has the added perk of uh, giving you extra survival supplies in an emergency. Hey. Why are we talking about eating our mons? I don't know. Sometimes you get a little hungry. Food is good. It's not strange. The Pokemon universe has established that people eat things. Like Slowpoke Tails, apparently. And Magikarps. Or Farfetch'd. I don't know about Magikarp, actually. Drillbur. Okay, maybe Timpool can do it by itself. Look at that little mole. Popping out of the ground. Arceus. I don't think you can eat that one. You, you, you probably could... Tr 
I don't know. I wouldn't try that. Tim Pole used bubble. Sound like a distorted uh, Lugia cry. Yeah, I can hear that. Level 9. Oh, nice. Swift isn't bad if there's early double team spammers. Uh-oh, I lost. Alchemy, that's the cake Pokemon, right? Can you, like... Does that Pokemon just supply infinite cakes? Or what? Like, does it just build more cake parts as you use it? Or if you eat some of its cake, is it just gone forever? What if you Gigantamax it? Comes after two. It's three. Everyone knows that. I didn't know that. My mind is blown right now. It's funny, because I'm playing a game called Black and White 3. Genesis. Ah, I use Bubble. It's fine. It's only Pat Rat. It can look annoyed with me all at once. Patch Rat looks like he's going to rant about a cartoon he doesn't like. Tell me that wouldn't fit on a YouTube thumbnail. There we go. Well, he probably would be wearing, like, a hoodie and, like, ripped skinny jeans or something like that to complete the look. Preschooler Jeff is about to use Lillipop. I almost read Lillipop Pup. Um, Tim Pole is actually already holding its own, so you know what? Let's let it fight. He would make a video that titled, Why Fighting Types Deserve Less, <laughs> in defense of Team Flare. Oh no. There we go. Route 1 tier list, and he would just put Patch Rat at the top. Oh, golly. Here comes the puppy tackling. Oh, pardon me, my nose is just a bit itchy all of a sudden. I feel like I'm pulling back a sneeze. 70. Now everybody's level 10. That's not bad. Attack is definitely led the leading stat for this temple. Ow, I got beat. That's right, child. Got slaughtered. Let Tepig take the lead, though, because it's Pig. But I will need Badoo for the gym. Did I check this? I actually don't remember. Oh, I didn't. I think most people would go for Stoutland over Watchhog. Stoutland gets, like, Intimidate, don't it? That's even better. Heart scale. Oh, boy. What else is here? Swaddle. Well, this is perfect for my leading pig. That pig always looks so happy to be here. Forty-four. Yeah, not very much. We're definitely getting more from the trainers. You tired yet? If you can beat me, you can get to the battle of the teacher. Tepig is always happy to roast Pokemon for me. That's right. Because if it doesn't, it becomes emergency bacon. Level eight. No intimidate on you, bro. I'm pretty sure Snubble gets intimidate with Granbull. Set that puppy on fire. Poor Snubble. You can't do anything here. Except get roasted. That pig is happy to be here and then it watched wrestling. Hey, let the pig learn how to wrestle if it wants. You all may not like the firefighting types for three gen gens in a row, but that isn't Embor's fault. He followed his dreams. He doesn't care what anybody wants. You ever think that Chimchar and Tepig just idolize Torchic and Blaziken? They want to be just like them? No, you only thought about yourself. Exactly. Set Ralts on fire. Come on. They almost did it again, though. Remember when Incineroar was like a wrestler? 
And people were like, please don't be firefighting again. Please don't be firefighting. And they're like, okay, it's fire dark. All right, wrestlers are evil now. Even when they're not making more firefighting types, you can clearly tell they wanted to. <laughs> Venipede. And then Decidueye was like, you know what? I'll be secondary fighting type. Gimme. A netball. Cinderace looks like it could be a fighting type. I suppose. But it's a soccer player. Good job making it past our little test trainer. If you can beat me, you'll receive a fabulous prize. Go on, let's get started. Nursery aid, Bree would like to battle. Blitzel. Electric Zebra. Let's get cooking. Oh boy. Incineroar being dark type, uh, heal wrestler makes sense when you realize a lot of dark type moves are based on dirty fighting techniques. Okay. I get ya. Isn't like Night Slash, at least it's Japanese name. It's literally referencing like, um, the tactic of, like, ambushing somebody in, in the middle of the night, right? I think there's, like, a Japanese term for it. Street killing. Oh. Is that literally what it translates to? I messed up. <laughs> Why did they change that? Hang on, I'm gonna have to switch. That paralysis messed me up. Yeah, go Scizor. Uh, you see that Pikachu? Street kill it. <laughs> They'll find the body, and Detective Pikachu will be on the case, avenging one of its brothers. What's Death Wing? I actually don't know what that is. Are you talking about Oblivion Wing for Yveltal? Is that what it's called in Japanese? You've beaten me, and won our school challenge. As a prize from us, take this rare Pokemon egg. Oh! I don't remember what I hatched. I think I sped up and hatched this on the debt when I was playing the old version. Don't don't tell me what it was. Because I don't remember. We'll let it hatch and see what it is. Wonder what's in inside. I like getting free eggs in early games. That's fun. Now that I've done this, I guess I go back and fight Marlin at the gym. I'm gonna see if I can just ember it. Actually, no, I'm paralyzed. I probably shouldn't have Tepig up front at all. I wonder if I can evolve Badoo. I'm just gonna fight it. Go for it. Oh yeah. Level 12. I can't really use Tepig at the gym. So, let's focus on Badoo. By picking Tepig, I put myself at a disadvantage for the star here. Hey, it's Marie! Look at that. I don't really want to use a Marie. Absorb it. Sheep! It's so fluffy. Oh, fantastic. It's gonna make it take forever. Skedaddle. More music. Did I have a rough time with that when I tried the first gym? That maybe I picked Tepig during that uh, that time as well. Who knows? I'll probably go fine if I could use the Badoo. And maybe get Roselia quickly. I only tried to rush through with Tepig, did I? Okay. Hang on, I can use the marine tube to get back. But, if I go get another level on that route, I would be able to, um... Okay, here's the marine tube. Take a look at it. 
looks nice. I could get a boost of friendship and get closer to Roselia. So let me just get one more level up here. We can also see if there's any other wild mons I missed by doing this. Route 13 is it, right? Yeah, it doesn't change again. Puppies! Oops. I hit stun spore. Whatever. At least I have powders here for, um... Easily, um, catching things when the time comes. Right now, let's just do this. Tackle. No big deal. Not sure I really want to use Stoutland. Like... And not having abilities makes me, like, go eh to certain Pokemon. Like, Stoutland's good, but Intimidate makes it real good. There are other po Of course, the same applies to other you know, Pokemon I'm actually fighting. Where if they don't have their abilities, too, that means they're easier to deal with. Come on. Just one itty-bitty level, just for the road. Because otherwise, I'll have to come back through the cave in uh, Humilao to get here again. Using the marine tube will be easier. More sheep. Just going for tackle. What does Badoo even normally get for abilities? I think it's poison points. Or does it have two? I don't remember what its second one would be. Come on. One more kill. What else is here? Chlorophyll. Natural cure sounds probably more likely. Can't absorb this quickly. Abilities like that are just super meh. Oh, come on. I may as well just switch into, um, Tepig and burn it then. We're just gonna get more grass types. Or bug types, I should say. It's rollout. Abilities are so weird in Pokemon. Some abilities are so good, and other abilities are just like, why is this here? Like, what is the actual point of this? Even when they added hidden abilities, there's a bunch of Pokemon that are just like, what is the point of this? Why'd you bother? What's it's like... Yeah. Little pup has appeared. I still didn't level up. I don't really want a Venipede, no. I don't want big, uh, centipede thing. But it was already a poison type. Need room on this team for more variety of types, just in case. Because you never know. Okay. Can I have a Roselia? Probably not. You never know if the conditions for friendship have been lowered, though, so let's find out. But I want to use the Badoo. I want to use the Badoo and get a Rose Raid. I don't really want a Scoliopede. Scoliopede, whatever the hell you say it. Excellent. To the Marine Tube. Let's talk to people. Oh! The people here want a battle? I didn't see that. Teacher. Oh, you're not teacher, you're a trainer. Well, I guess this will give me more EXP. Preschooler Evan wants to battle. Or Azuril. You are normal fairy type. Why aren't you a squishy water type? Why? You are such a strange baby to exist. Azuril can't get huge power, right? Only, um, evolutions can. I don't know what Azuril normally does other than be baby. Lillipop. Nah, let Tepig get another little hit in there. It feels so random that they retroactively added fairy type to Azuril, but still, it's still normal fairy. It feels wrong that it's not freaking water. A 
Azumarill can get huge power, okay. So you know right off the bat if you want it. Preschooler Evan was defeated. It's hard to see in here. Teacher took us to see all the pretty Pokemon. It's so fun to battle along with my sister. Twin battle, let's go. Twins, Jen and Julie would launch to battle. Is that really what the Gen 5 twins look like? I don't remember that. I'm bonking the desk a little bit. Hang on. I'm gonna use growth. Actually, now that I think about it, using growth to set up on the water type trainers at the gym would probably be really useful. Look at that pink orb. That's right. It looks like a balloon. You poke it with a needle and it'll just pop. It's trying to defend itself. A silly little baby. A silly little baby. Let me get a drink. Wonderful. Does not feel like it's been over an hour so far. Fun, fun, fun. Kleppa! We know what must be done. We know what must be killed. Take it out. Everyone in the marine tube is in danger right now, as long as this thing breathes. The drain its life force. Twins Jen and Julie defeated. Wow, that was a surprise. Being able to play together is a great thing. You are a rather adult-looking kid. Kiddish adult. Oh, geez, I'll just find out when we battle. What are you saying, weirdo? Nursery aid, Lisa would like to battle. <clears throat> Pardon me. Ugh. I am okay. Just holding back a cough. I'm good. I'm gonna poison this thing. Hang on a sec. Okay, I just had to, like, cough there. I'm good. I think it's that choking from an hour ago coming back to haunt me. Absorb. That Audino looks a little bit squished. Just a teensy bit squished on the sides. Poison does good extra damage, I guess. It looks like a Sour Patch Kid. That's a very specific reference, but... I guess it looks like it could be some kind of sweet candy. Kill. Kill. Audino has so much HP, but it's about to give so much freaking EXP. I don't think there's any shaking grass in this game. I'm running out of absorbs on Badoo. Ooh. Whew. So close to another. You are an altogether mysterious trainer. Oh, nice. It's evolving. Pretty handy. I think it's safe to say the friendship has been lowered. Okay, now obviously given the color limitations, they can't have both roses be red and blue. So, making them both purple for a Gen 2 sp style sprite is actually a pretty good a good idea. That looks nice. Like, they even had to use the highlight to, for the light green there. The highlight is just using the white background as an extra color, essentially. That's a neat idea. I imagine Rose Raid will have to look like that, too. That looks nice. 31 special. Definitely pretty strong. Rose Raid is the, gonna be the MVP of this upcoming gym. Or Roselia, sorry. Wait, hang on. How much experience did it need for next level? Literally one? Dude, that never happens. <laughs> that never happens. I was one away from getting a second, like, a second one. 
So now I just, I guess I just talk to everyone until I find a shiny stone later. Uh, let's let Tim Pole get some levels. Roar! I'm a Pokemon. She roared at me. No, they wouldn't make shiny stone post-game, right? I hope. Maybe. Badoo! Oh, that is so last year, girl. Anyways, worst lead ever, so let's switch. We're getting absorbed. Set the Banu on fire. I'm sure that maybe level getting a couple levels on my uh, Met route helped a lot. But the friendship is definitely not nearly as bad as it is for Vanilla Gen 2. Keep in Tepig here. I like the Roselia so far, it's nice. It felt like in Diamond and Pearl, getting evolution the new evolution stones took forever, but one exploit you could do is um I think as early as the Valley Windworks, you can find Pachirisu in the wild, right? One of Pachirisu's abilities is, um, pick up. So you can you catch a bunch of those, and you have a chance of just getting, like, the Gen 4 Evo stones by repeatedly just trying to, like, have farm pickups. You can do that in BDSP as well. It's how I got a Dusk Stone early on for, um, either getting Mer- uh, Mer- what is it? Honchcrow and Miss Magius, because you can find Murkrow and Mistrevis in a turn of forest, depending on the version you're playing. Shiny Stone evolves Mincino, so it wouldn't be post-game, probably. Okay, that makes sense, yeah. I forgot Mincino is a stone evo. You can also get them from the underground as well, that's true. That's after Eterna, though, as well. Some, a lot of stuff was arbitrarily locked in post-game for Underground, though, and back in Diamond and Pearl. Wow, look at all the Pokémon underwater. The Marine Tube is a great date destination. Some people drop their valuables on the floor. What if a Shiny Stone was here? You can't just say that to me. Full restore, bro! I don't even have a badge yet. Now, what if there's a Shiny Stone in here? What if there's a Shiny Stone, chat? What if? What if? Come on. And took you. Both are all so cute. It, stop talking. You are creepy, lady. That lady should not be allowed near me. Check all the tiles. There we go. Okay, that covers all the two tiles on that side. Let's check the, this one. Come on. Nope, didn't mean to talk to you. Get out of the way, old man. This tube serves as a shortcut to Humilao City, but there are so many tourists that it's hard to get through. Not the tourists. Okay, last row. I only found a single... Single full restore. Get out of the way, buddy. Come on. Found an ether. This might be it. Wouldn't it be amazing if there was a shiny stone, though? Come on. Nope, that's it. Let's run on out of here, then. Oh, this town is so lovely. Oh, you're a Pokemon trainer? Here, this may help you. Oh! That's nice. I got egg steps in doing that, true. That scarf will increase the power of normal type attacks. Um... Tepig is probably... Hmm, honestly, I should probably give it the Timpole, because Timpole has Swift. Hold up, what's its special? 15. Damn. But it's not like it can use bubble on the water types. And Tepig will die right away, so at least for this gym, I should probably just try giving that to you. 
I got a bunch of sellables from this stuff here. I got shards. I don't know what to do with those. Hang on, what's the egg say now? I wonder what's inside. Okay. I guess now we go ahead and fight Mr. Marlin. Look at all the tiles. It's fun! I don't know where there's other hidden items, but that dude had a hint about it, so I had to look. I got a full restore I'm never going to use till the end of the game. There's the gym. Hang on, what happens if I fish in this town? Let's have a look. Umilao City has great music, too. More Tim Pole. Is Tim Pole the only thing that's going to show up with my rod? Will the egg hatch to level 5 because Gen 2? Probably. Should make a safety save soon, yeah. I think it's probably best to just let Roselia sweep the gym, because Tim Pole and Tepig can't really do anything except be back up. I have to- I can swift with Tim Pole, but it's like, yeah. I suppose I could do some switch-ins using Roselia. Tepig's just at a disadvantage, but it's still gonna be my strongest Pokémon by a long shot later. Hey, I'm no trainer, but I can give some advice. Believe me. You believe a championship dream can come true. You believe? Then listen. Fire type is weak against water type. Keep this in mind. Oh, thank you so much. We lost without you. Saving, don't turn off the power. Let's go fight you. Yeah. To be as clear as water, that is the style I see. Oh boy. I hope I have, uh, I'll be able to get this uploaded soon enough. I guess I haven't gotten a chance to mention this much today, but also, this dude looks like he has an alien face. The sprite, his chin looks a little compressed. Is that supposed to be his mouth? I can't tell. Anyways. Yeah, you probably noticed at the time I'm doing this right now, uh, uploads have been a little bit slow on the VOD channel. For whatever reason, YouTube's processing has just been, like, broken. Like, ridiculously broken. Um... I'm having times where it'll take like a day or sometimes like 48 hours for a single VOD to properly process after I upload it. So, I'm currently sitting on 20 to 30 hours worth of stream VODs that I have not been able to upload. And that's been, been fun. Ugh. It doesn't help that like every, every stream day I get like another 4 or 5 hours on top of that. Hang on. I'll let Tim Pole just finish it off. Or you know what? The Switch experience will probably still give you enough, so let's just do it. Roselia looks nice with the two Violet Roses. Excellent. Perfect. I'm trying to get some stuff uploaded. I remember earlier in the week, I, I played Pokemon Dusk Remastered, the, the edgy horror game. That was a fun stream. And, man, it's gonna take a bit to get uploaded. I need to record the other endings, though. We're gonna try and do that a little later. Miner, you sent me, um, the save files for that, right? Like, uh, they're set up in front of the final boss, so I just have to beat them again without having to replay to do all the different moral choices. Mega Drain! Oh, that's what we want to see. Okay. It should be really easy to set those up. I just have to drag and drop. Um, I kind of want to keep both powders, and growth can be useful. I don't really need... Absorb's power is too low to keep around, even for its even for its PP. Mega Drain has a lot less PP, though, right? Is it 10 or 15? Either way, I'll be fine. When I lose, I feel like I might just disappear. Poison powder is probably getting dropped a little later, but it can still be useful right now, I feel. Yeah, I am gonna replay Pokemon Dawn as well. I figured for Spooky Month, um, it'd be good to get, like, a spooky Pokemon game recorded. 15 PP, that's good. That way... Because a lot of peeps watch, watch just for Pokemon, which is fine. But, you know, it's nice to get a little crossover in there. 
If you can beat me, you'll get to face Marlin. Don't let your guard down yet. Vine Whip does have 10 PP, which is pretty stupid if you ask me. Swimmer Angela would like to battle. Remo Raid. I'll just keep switching. Probably could get Tepig extra EXP here as well, because if they're going to use a water move, Roselia is a very safe switch in there. There you go. Eighty-two. Eighty-two. That's good enough. How can this be? I wasn't being careless at all. Did I make a safety save yet? I keep not doing that, do I? Power 26, sounds about right. So are we already at Marlin? Hold up, what's my... Do I even really need to go back and heal? Not really. I say just go for it. I should give Roselia an Orinberry, though. If I have any left. She's the main one that needs it. There's stuff behind him. I wonder if that's a, a hint for me to come back and surf there. Asprey, how's your training coming? You're finally ready to take on my gym challenge. Sweet, won't hold back. Come on. What was that shape? Was it meant to look like his badge? Marlin wants to battle. He's got a Meryl! Actual water type. Get that squishy friend. Well, this is a nice D-Make re uh, remix. I see some bopping bears in chat. Oh, that's right! He rain dances. Totally forgot about that. Oh, look at that! They put the rain egg icon on the side. That's handy. Don't remember that being there, was it? Hmm. I wonder if I should have used a growth first, because being able to heal off future hits would be good. But I can one-shot him. Okay, it's fine. Let there be a, another extra trainer or two. Basculin. Oh, I remember this thing being a gremlin, but I don't remember why. Like, when I played the Wonderbox segment, I only, like, played to the first gym in a very quick manner just to see what the game had, right? Taking my time now, but... Takedown. I think it has, like, Aqua Jet or something to work with Rain Dance. Okay, I should be fine to finish him off. Roselia's MVP here. Oh, right, Barry. I also have a Barry, too. Come on. He's trying to evolve into Basque Legion. Take him out. Okay, Roselia definitely carried for sure. Ooh, 448. Now I gotta let the other other two get a EXP. Wow, sweet moves, Asprey. You've gotten even better than I expected. Go ahead, take this. You've earned it. Look at that. Asprey received the wave badge. Uh, did Twitch just glitch? It says uh, I'm disconnected from chat. Oh, I'm back. That's the official Pokemon League wave badge. With that, traded Pokemon to level 20 will obey you. Haha, <laughs> trades. You can't do that. And now I have Rain Dance. When you use a TM, the Pokemon will learn a new move, and don't worry about using it up. You can use a TM as many times as you want. TM18 teaches Rain Dance. It causes crazy rainstorm that makes water type attacks uh, stronger. You know, there are Pokemon gyms in all kinds of cities and towns across Unova. You should test your skills at those gyms, too. If you head back to Undela Town, you can find the entrance to Reversal Mountain. Head through there to find a path forward. Good luck. Okay. In-game trades, I guess. Also true, yeah. Any new dialogue on you? Yeah, this was the this was the logo here. It's the Unova League logo that showed up before the battle. Nice battle. Keep it up, and you'll be the champ in no time. It's Mom. Hi, Asprey. It's your mother. I'm told you're going on a Pokemon journey. 
I wish you would have told me. It does sound exciting, though, I have to admit. You know, I spent a lot of time around Pokemon when I was younger. I'm pretty good at knowing how happy a Pokemon is. Give me a call if you want me to tell you how friendly your Pokemon is. Okay, well that would have been useful, but I already evolved my friendship, Mon. Now be safe and have fun on your travels. You got this, baby. Well, wonderful. Let's go ahead and heal up. Maybe grab a few more Pokeballs. I think the team I got is okay so far. Haven't had too many opportunities to really use Bubble yet, though. Can I help you? I buy super potions now. Just five extra should be okay. Two of these. There's escape rope, repel. Nah, not right now. We want to see the Pokemon. Okay, back to Undella Town, they said. Then go to Reversal Mountain. Let's do it. There's nothing hidden up here, is there? Hang on. Also, I don't need the berry anymore on you. I'll keep Tepig up front. Roselia got more than enough EXP doing all that. Let's go. Since the subject got brought up about Wonderbox, I really should do, like, another one of those streams, but man, I kind of put it off for such a long time, haven't I? I need to, like, get together a theme pack of those or something. I know people really like when I do those streams, but it's been quite a bit. Reversal Mountain is a dangerous place, full of wild Pokemon. I see you have the wave badge from the Humilao City. Be careful in there. That series was also where I, um, I found and played uh, Fool's Gold for the first time. So it, it is a good way to find games to play on stream for full playthroughs. Just by checking out the first hour or so. Oh! Look at that! Oh, that would be kind of cool to train. It would be a good physical wall. Hmm. I kind of want it. When's the last time I used an Aggron? I think I did a randomizer once where I caught level 2 Aggron. Usually I don't catch this thing because it takes forever to freaking train, but if it's this early in the game, why not? Hey, Aggron. Catch the missing no again. I don't think that's still here. There we go. It's a nice sprite for it. It has body made of steel to make it steel armor. It feeds on iron ore. It digs up from mountains. Let's have a look at it, little friend. Oh, it's holding something. Hard stone. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Tackle, harden, mud slap. Okay, it's Aron, so only its defense is good right now, but hey. Uh, I can keep the hard stone, honestly. Hang on, I should put the egg to the bottom. It looks wrong like this. I'm trying not to just sweep everything with my starter. Hang on, let me use the old rod on this pond again. Was it this pond? I think it was this, um, this general area, right? Or was it the cave at the beginning of the game? I just remember I used an old rod on the cave pond and it fished up Missing No because they forgot to put Pokemon data there. There's no way. There's no- it had- it has to have been fixed. Okay. It was right here. Are you checking the old VOD? Well... It looks like just Tim Poles here. Sorry guys, they fixed the game-breaking bug. Because of course they did. Just Tim Poles seems to be the only thing I can fish up. Ooh, I haven't seen you before. Would you mind sparring with me? Karate dude, black belt, Dwayne. Dwayne got a rock and roller. That's terrible for me. I may as well switch right to Tim Pole. Man, Tepig is not catching a break here. 
it gets to ember the early sawaddles and then it just can't do much for a little bit can it hold up hold up hold up yeah you know what i just realized about rog and rolla no sturdy oh well i can't kill it one hit yet anyway Yep, yep, yep. Stretching my limbs, making sure my body feels nice and limber here. Oof. Enemy rock and roll the defeated. Tepig, we're level 13. Nice. Defense curl. Timber. Hmm. I suppose I'm probably fine to just ember it until it goes away. Um, I could get Lederon get some freaking EXP doing this, though. He's a little greenish looking. Look at that little friend. All the Pokemon I'm using evolved twice. Well, after Badoo has already evolved, you know what I mean. Burn, burn, burn to the ground. He's holding wood. He's asking to get set on fire. It's a, it's a good thing it's holding, like, timber. That's where its name comes from. My name is Timber. I hold timber. That's my whole personality. As soon as it starts carrying around a girder, well, bam, that becomes something else. What if a timber holds something else? Does it become something else? Like, does its name change based on what it's holding? Wow, impressive. For one so young, you're quite good. Hang on, who's up front? Probably could just use a little potion. Medicine pocket. My job is just timber. A dusk ball. Cool. Sure, I'll be your opponent, right alongside my trusty Muna. <laughs> you think the Muna's useful. He's so silly, Lass. Lass Harriet. Level 14, though. Ooh, you don't level me. The trainer levels are actually keeping up, surprisingly. Damn, I got Ember, you got Psybeam. You're actually a threat. I gotta get rid of you before you cause problems. Okay, it wasted a turn on Reflect. That's good. If you give Timber a leak, will it become a Farfetch? Good point. It could become a Hatsune Miku fan. Hey, you burn, boyo. Let's make the quick switch here. Because I don't have revives. Timpole can take this, I hope. Well, damn. It got a critical hit. <laughs> Golly. Well, I could probably outspeed it with Roselia and just finish it off. I'm gonna have to run back to the Pokemon Center now anyway. Cut the Aeron, and oh, damn, not enough. Safeguard? A little late for that, girl. <laughs> Nothing safe about that. Oh, that was such a silly little fight. You're strong. Yeah, I am. Now get out of my way. I probably should have bought some of those escape ropes. Let's go stop by the Pokemart, why don't we? Oh, hey, it's Mawile. Look at that. Um... Is there Mega Evolution in this game? I don't think there is, right? I'm not sure Mawile can even do anything in this game, especially without Intimidate. I don't recall reading anything about Mega Evolution, so... It wasn't on the- it wasn't on the community page, so I assume not. Yeah, it is Fairy-type, but no abilities, so no Intimidate, even. Yeah, it's got a good type. I guess with its updated moveset, because Mawile was just trash in Gen 3, right? 
I actually don't know if the shiny odds have been changed at all. It doesn't seem like a lot of people here have, like, really played this one. So we're all just kind of discovering it as I go along. It's pretty bad, yeah. I think Gigalith looks cool, but I've already used one before. I almost never really get to use Aggron, so... I'll, go, I'll run with that this time. Heck yeah. We're back to the comfy music. And now we're out of the comfy music. Yeah, I should buy a couple escape ropes, just in case I find myself in this situation again. Where I need to go back and heal. The game isn't gonna give me just, like, a easy cannon fodder to just beat up. For every battle. That thing with uh, Psybeam was a bit of a threat. Give me three. Don't really need repels. Buy a couple more of these for now. Okay. It's nice that you came with a hard stone. Hmm. Quick question, what level does Tim Pole actually evolve? Because I don't know. Oof, this music's so nice. Let me see here. Can I re-battle you by calling you myself? 25, then 36. Ooh, that's pretty high. Next time we'll win. Okay, I guess they call me for it. Just wasn't sure if they changed it here. Calling Professor Bianca is how she, um... Is how she tells you where to go next, I believe. It's locked. I wanted to enjoy the music a little more. Okay, let's go have a look around. Let's check this path now. Can I one-shot you? How good is your special? How good is your special, little friend? Nah, eh, well, my special's not very good, but hey, this is fine. Eighty-two? Good enough for me. Big Knight should be around the corner. Okay, do down here. I remember that- wasn't there something funky about this guy? Or I might be thinking of a different game. It- Does something funny happen if I take the long way around? I don't remember. Hang on. Save the game. Counter. Rog and Rolla. Might be thinking of something different for sure. Moonstone. Well, I guess you can evolve Muna quickly if you want. Me and my Pokemon are professional tunnelers. We have no rival. Have I encountered anything else that could use a Moonstone? Hiker Wilson wants to battle. I've seen Igglybuff and uh, Cleffa and Trainer battles. Don't know if I could catch them at this point. Maybe they're rare. Take him out. This Dwebel is such a dweeb. Uh-oh, he's throwing rocks. It's annoying. I'm gonna switch. What if he gets a crit on next hit, or if he rolled low and then he rolls high? Then I have to go all the way back and heal again. Yuri Cutter, why would you plan to use that against freaking? Whatever. We got potions for this. This is why we're training. I probably should just put Tim Pole up front so it can bubble things more quickly. Tepic will have an easier time in the trainer battles. Oh, Bubble Beam. That's perfect. Perfect timing. I don't need Growl at all, let's be real. Physical Special Split is in the game, yeah. Yeah, send it out. Oh, what am I doing? Get bubbled! 
I haven't actually met Uwu Professor face to face. She called me and told me she was giving me Pokemons. Get beans. Well, the bubbles look like little beans, don't they? Kind of, maybe, sort of, not really. Super effective. Woo! Nice chunk of change right there. Hit a wall like this. How many potions I got left? Where are they at? Wait, what? Oh, this is the item pocket. I keep forgetting that this has an extra pocket now. Do this. Okay. For trainer battles, I could also put her on up front. Takes forever to get Aggron. I did kind of catch some Pokemon that take a while to train up, but that's okay. Like, one of the things I always talk about for Pokemon playthroughs is there's a lot of Mons that I never want to use because you get them way too late. Like, no one wants to put Bagon on their main team in a, in a Hoenn playthrough because it takes too long to get Bagon. And there's, you have to just power grind it annoyingly if you want to use Salamence for the Elite Four or something. But if you could catch Bagon at a low level early on, it's like, ah, you consider it. And don't even get me started on Larvitar being, only being catchable at Mount Silver in Gen 2. Hey, look at that, a Woobat. It's like, hmm, do you want to use a Tyranitar in the last battle remaining in the game? Well, catch Larvitar and spend forever training it now. Identified me. Identify Bubbles. The only downside of going for Seismitoad is we are going to be stuck seeing Palpitoad for, like, 11 levels. Palpitoad is one of the most hideous-looking middle evolutions ever, yeah. Pretty gross. Can I talk to you again? This is one of my favorite places to train. That's a nose pass. Well, gee whiz. Do I want to train Agron or do I want to use Probo Pass? Hello, friend, welcome. Seismitoad is a good hideous, I would argue. Palpitoad is just. It definitely looks like it's going through growing pains, that's for sure. Darn it. Any genuine Probo Pass fans? Like. Probopass is rock steel, so is Agron. I don't really know what Probopass really does, to be honest. Come on. It's also just Nose Pass, but it has like a mustache. Isn't the mustache made out of like magnetized like rock shards? My Pokemon dig because they believe they're gonna find something. And they battle because they believe they're gonna win. About to crush some beliefs right now. Let's go for it. Yeah, that's true. If Yanova has some really high level uh, end evos, right? If this game doesn't give you like early um, Volibi, uh, Rufflet, or Dino, like, yeah, I feel like you could really use those early on. Unlike Vanilla Yanova, where it's like, aren't they like? Post-game only, mostly. Probable Pass has balanced defenses. Agron is focused on physical defense. Yeah, it's still... Probable Pass will still probably die to, like, a Surf or two, though. Rock Steel is, like, the typing that a lot of things can just hit you with hard with, especially after the split. I may have lost, but I still believe in my Pokémon. Sure are unlucky to have run into someone as strong as me. Agron also does look cooler, that's right. Who are you? Oh, it's a backpacker, Frank. Where's Ted? Are Ted and Frank on a little ad little adventure across the mountains? Do they retire from game development? Is this where they've been? While well, I haven't been referencing them for years? 
the bubbles that are unleashed. Snubble got hit with bubbles. Look at that. It rhymed. Backpacker Frank is about to use Woobat. I think this would be a good time to send out A.A. Ron here. And then send in Tepig. I hope. Do fine. I have a hard stone, but I don't have any rock moves yet. Rock throw is generally not that great. No, is it? Have, has the rock type gotten, like, a, a better, like, standard, like, move yet? Or is it still just rock throw with bad accuracy? I don't know if they ever changed the accuracy of rock throw. Because it wasn't perfect, right? I mean, head smash is a later move. I wouldn't call that an early game tactic. I'm talking about, like, a, uh, like a rock type equivalent for, like, ember and bubble or something. Or ember and water gun is probably better. 90% now. Oh, whoopee. I guess there is Smackdown. I don't really see that too much. Damn, this is annoying. Let me just do this. Oh. I didn't think you'd use that this turn for some reason. Well then. This will still kill you, right? If better. <laughs> there, I got a crit. Now everybody gets a little experience. Fifteen. Only Roselia got to level up. I guess I was who was unlucky to run into you. All right, Frank, say hi to Ted for me. Heal up the pig. Swine's got work to do. I should have bought more potions, apparently. Let's get that item up there. At least Onyx is good EXP fodder for early on. Not good to use, though. Never use an Onyx. Never, ever use an Onyx. It's so bad. I don't know if they ever made its stats that much better. You want better stats on Onyx? You evolve it. That's what you do. Hello, Lolo. My name isn't Lolo. Backpacker carry would like to battle. Ooh, it's a Mawile again. This should be fine. Probably should have had someone else up ahead for this. Oh, Fairy Wind. Fairy type's got a little elemental attack now. Hmm. Everything defeated the Onyx when you tried to use it? Yeah. You can get the traded one at the start in Violet City to make it grow faster, but even that can't help it. The problem with Onyx is that it was literally designed to be like the first boss Pokemon. Its attack is like pitiful. Oddish has a higher attack stat. Like rock and ground Pokemon in Gen 1, their whole the whole point of their existence was to be was to teach the player to use special moves after they get out of Viridian Forest. That you realize you can do more than just match, match, scratch. You have to try those other attacks you learned along the way. Bubble. Nose Pass is just one of those Pokemon that's meant to be rare. You find it as a rare encounter in Granite Cave in Gen 3, and that's it. It exists to be Pokedex filler. It's Team Rocket member. And they gave it an evolution in Gen 4. I mean, to be fair, Gen 4 gave a lot of things random evolutions, didn't it? Well, hey, to be fair to Charmander, it got Metal Claw in Gen 3. 
So it has something to do against Brock. I'm gonna put you up front. I think this is the way out. Hey, don't sneak up on a guy like that. Don't you know who I am? I'll teach you not to mess with Team Plasma. Plasma Grunt. Is this the black and white one version of this track? Is this the uh, black and white two version? Because I like the black and white two version of the plasma theme a lot more. Hmm. Still have to go right to pig. I really need more moves, don't I? New, new team plasma. That's right. They're back, stronger than ever. They got a plan that'll work this time. Yeah, I think this is the black and white one version. I never really cared much for the black and white one version of the plasma theme, but the for black and white two, the intro to that battle theme goes so hard, and I love it. Packs a punch on Sarda. Nice. Got mud slap on Iran, but you know it's level six, so it can't do much. Oh, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Level 7. Okay, headbutt ain't bad, but you're still level 7. No, how could I lose? How could you lose? How could you lose, he says, after he cursed his own Pokemon into fainting. How could he lose? I don't know how. Darn it, you made a powerful enemy today. Team Plasma's not to be messed with. Once I figure out where I am, you're done for. Oh no. Oh, no. Okay, then. It's over here. Damn it. You made a powerful enemy today is 100% loser speak. Yes, it is, ain't it? Can I get away with mud slapping you? Oh, no, that'd take too long. Mud slap counts as a special move, too, don't it? some experience. Hang on, what are the levels for uh, Laron and Agron again? I know it takes an eternity to get to Agron casually, but it'd be nice to work towards it. Damn. It's just not worth it, so you know what? Let's put Tepig up front again. Great ball. Laron is 32, Agron is 42. Yeah, it's gonna take a bit. If I could get an experience share, that might help. Hi, Nose. Nose Pass is, if there's no location for it in this game, then it's probably just Thunderstone like the modern ones. What else is over here before I leave? A blue shard. Oh, that's the ledge back to the start. Ugh. X defend. Oh my gosh. I feel like they certainly gave this cave a uh, Gen 5 encounter rates. Maybe I should have been buying repels, huh? Okay, I'm not even running into stuff that I can kill with Tepig anymore. No more Woobats, so I should just probably put Timpole back up front while I run over here. Uh, it definitely feels like the encounter rate has been upped to match Gen 5, because Gen 5 encounter rates, especially in caves, are infamous for how frequent they are. Like, has anyone ever, like, broken up the, uh, the code or whatever and see just what the difference is between Gen 5 and other Gens for that. Flame Wheel, let's get rid of Tail Whip. Honestly, Defense Curl I can go to. 
Let's do this. One more level and I get Pig Knight, right? Or is it a higher level for Pig Knight? Oh. I'm not gonna flame wheel you, defense wall. Hang on. Tadpole should go up front until we see trainers again. Okay, more trainers. Let's do this and then switch in Tepig. I can feel the energy that overflows from the earth. Oh no. One of those type of people. Let's go. Oh, it's just a battle girl. Rog and Rolla. Okay, can't use Tepig for this, so we'll just switch directly to Tim Pole. Hello, friend. Welcome. Roselia is just chilling there, but all she really has is uh, Mega Drain. Mega Drain was good when um, <laughs> the only trainers were Water type users, but now I kind of need a bit more. It'd be nice if I could get like Sludge Bomb down the line, especially since Fairy types are in the pool. Sludge Bomb would be a lot more useful. Sludge Bomb does count as special, right? Pretty sure it does. Okay. Uh, it's gonna go for a fighting move. You know what? We're near the end of the cave. I don't wanna risk loot dying to a bad switch in. Send in the pig! Get that baby slaughter. Turn the pig around the fire over and over until it's nice and cooked. Told you before, the best thing about Tepig is that the bacon cooks itself for you. Delicious. Put that green timber out of its misery. Critical hit. And what's next? Um. Hang on. I'll send in my one and then let Tim pull Bubble Beam it. Everyone is still great typing, so I can make use of Laron. But man, it's gonna take a bit to get its level up for a while, for sure. Not nearly as long as Seismitoad, at least. Hey, it'll be nice to use. Bubble Beams. There you go. No idea when I find a Shiny Stone to get Rose Raid, though. Level 8. Defense is looking good. No new move on Aeron first, yo. Oh, Mud Shot. Okay, I can actually make use of that. That's good for now. Um... I feel like I don't need Swift at all, because it counts as a special move. I don't need a special normal move. Even with the Silk Scarf, it's kind of worthless. Super Sonic, I might still use it, but it'll get replaced with something later for sure. Doesn't seem like anybody's going for double team strats. Battle Girl Trina was defeated. I felt the energy that overflowed from your Pokemon. Hmm. What do we got? Axe attack? No one wants to use that. Hold up now. Hmm. Put you up front again. Or wait, no, we're not out of the cave, so I should just do this. Next items are broken in speedruns. Yes, they are. Oh, hey, this part. I'm a doctor, but I'm also a Pokemon trainer. Oh, right, overworld doctors. Nice. You can defeat me in battle. I'll heal your Pokemon. Now, this is a happy surprise. I'll take this. Yeah, the Innova Red guy did make this. Dr. Hugh. Did Hugh grow up to be a doctor? Bubble beam this lad. Oh, he went for the thunder wave. Couldn't one shot him. Oh? He buried. Well, oh, that's annoying. Bro, what are you doing? What is he doing? He's actually tr he they're actually making me work for it, aren't they? Fine then. 
If you want to go, we'll freaking go, all right. Nice, no paralysis. We took out the nose. Maybe he's got EVs or something on him. Who knows? Can't have a salt vest. Oh, it's only Pokemon. Okay, I see. I'll restore your Pokemon back to full health. That was sure was nice of him. How many? How's my egg doing? Wonder what's inside. It needs more time. Well then. This is a new area, so let me see if I can get my starter to evolve. It especially could use a stab fighting move as well. This also could be a place to catch another good Pokemon. I'm starting to wonder if I'll end up dropping the, uh, the Aeron. Let's see. What else is here? I already got ground type covered. Shift gears and Bob's your uncle. You'll be going full speed in no time. You're cycling through the grass, Shelly? Why are you doing that? Fill the pup. See, puppies like this are why I need to be able to use fighting moves. We need to be able to attack the puppies with more power. We need to be able to strike them where it hurts. He's growling. Don't hurt the puppies? Well, the puppies shouldn't be battling me if they don't want to get hurt. One seventeen. Let's get that level. Meryl. Damn, there's so many Pokemon here. I can't just sweep through with this. Okay, let me send out a Ron. And I'll send out a Roselia. I don't remember if Pignite gets Arm Thrust. I'm not sure what it gets for its first fighting move. Going Bubbles. Drain. Streamer Man is mean and gets his pig to kick puppies. Hey! Don't get to kick them, pretty sure. 73, not enough. No matter how I shift my gears, it looks like I'll never match your speed. Great ball. That's great, but I want to see what is uh, actually here to catch. Purloin. May as well take it out. There might be something good here as a, as a random catch. Just have to see. Aggron does work well as a physical wall. Obviously, you know, it's weak to fighting type moves, but... For the most part, I feel like it'll be able to wall a lot of things. But this is also a hack, so you never know how much coverage has been given to most enemy teams, right? I highly doubt it's gonna be like Crystal Kaizo, where everybody just randomly gets hidden power that, like, magically covers everything you can do. Which I'm still salty about. There are moles hanging around here. Whatever. Let's get to level 16. We need the buff and stats as well for the long road. It'll take a while to get to Embor as well, but it's fine. Come on, I don't want to fight more trainers. Oops, I say that and I wander right into another guy. Whatever. Yahoo, if you call, I'll come right away. Well then. Yeah, four times weak to fighting and ground and everything learns those two types. Definitely true. Can hard wall some strong Pokemon though, yeah. I don't know, I'm starting to have second thoughts about it. Like, maybe it's just like Crystal Kaizo has put the fear of like Pokemon fans into me, but I feel like it's more likely everyone's gonna have like 
a random earthquake or a fighting move like Focus Blast on their Pokemon if they can. And that's gonna make Aggron a lot less useful, right? What if I swapped it for like early Dino or something? If I could find that. As much as I like Aggron, if, I feel like if I go invest into it now, what if it just blows up in my face later? Oops. And of course, I switched to it. At the very least, I can say catching it gave me a free Hearthstone. Aura Sphere and Earth Power as well. True. Yeah, because the splits in this game. Go to Tim Hole. Earthquake is such a common uh, TM move that, yeah, it can easily be splashed on a lot of different mons if they want to cover me. It's not as easy for a story team where you can just throw an Aggron or Golem or whatever, and it just blocks everything they can do. So yeah, maybe I'll change my mind about it. Yeah, Dino takes forever to evolve. Yeah, I know, but still. I'm gonna find things if I can. Here's a Volibi. Uh, let's Timpole stay in here, actually. Just go for it. What? What is that cry a remix of? What Pokemon did it use as a base for that? Considering there's a special split in this Jazz Gen 5 Mons. It was Hypno, you think? Okay, yeah. I feel like Aura Sphere and Earth Power could be pretty common as well. Earth Power in particular feels like one of those, like, move tutor moves that gets splashed on a lot of things, doesn't it? 17. Stats are pretty mid. I'm on fire, baby, on fire! Put yourself out. Oh, not 16 for Tepig? Okay, riding a bicycle is fun, but I want to ride away on a Pokemon. Say you and I should battle again. Yeah, sure. Awesome. Call me whenever you get a hot... or want a hot battle. Okay. Hang on, let me take away the hard stone you got. Let's go have a look over here. Definitely gotta be Gen 5 encounter rates. Well, if the game won't give me pig yet, I will work towards more pig. Get the extra EXP, let's go. Clearly seems like the kind of game where I need it too. I've been training to take on the gym. I won't give up easily. Is a spooky house up here? That could be a place to find something cool. School kid Garrett, the zombie, would like to battle. Give it the flame wheel. An evil residency? Oh, you're right. Very spooky house. Things go bad. Ooh, get burned, pigeon. Our bites burn, and there you go. Cat rats. I already growled me now. Hang on. I'll let Roselia do something. She hasn't been able to do like anything since the gym, pretty much. Level nine. I'm getting weaker all of a sudden. Suck the health. Went for the leer. No problem. I'm gonna hit this road with the big drain, the big suck, and send him out of nowhere. That made no sense. I just tried to word while half asleep. I'm fine. Eh. Blitzel. I may as well just stay in with Roselia against this thing. Doesn't help that <laughs> with Mega Drain being my only attack move, I'll quickly run out of it, uh, uses for it. Almost there. I do kind of have to check everywhere, see for the shiny stone. Talk to everyone, see if they'll give me good stuff. 
I mean, I found the hidden items in the marine tube, but it was just an ether and full restore. Ooh. What? My victory was taken away from me. Red shard. Do you want to play with me? Yeah, sure. What do you got? You got an Xbox or PlayStation? How many controllers? Are you exploring this haunted house too? Get this, I was checking out that desk, when all of a sudden there was a sound when I left the room. The furniture outside had moved. I'm telling you, this is the work of a ghost. Okay. Something moved. The furniture is moving around. Ah, we don't need to worry about things right now. I don't even know where Verbank is right now. Oh, hey! Check it out, Drifloon! It's got Shadow Sneak. Can Drift- what can Driftbloom even do without their abilities? Well, for the player, not that much anyway, right? Because they're mostly only annoying because Aftermath. Anything down here? It's too spooky for me here. Driftbloom's just a tank. I can go up this way. Driftloom gets HP, but its typing isn't exactly great for a tank. Has a lot of weaknesses. This has got priority. Right now, anyway. Burn the balloon. After all, we don't need a Driftloom. I already have a fire type on my team. I want to see if there's, yeah, an item up here for me to pick up. <clears throat> I think that Shadow Sneak might be the only move they have, because they're always selecting it. Burn, burn, burn. I should probably clarify that I know Driftblim isn't a fire type before 10,000 people go to correct me in the comments. Oh, nice. Tepix evolving. I'm making a joke about Flint's team in Diamond and Pearl. Pig! Your Tepig evolved into Pig Knight. Trying to learn double kick. This pig is ready to kick. Kick puppies. Tail Whip can go. Okay, yeah, there's the item. Super Potion. Anything over here? What's that blue thing? Oh, it's TM. Will-O-Wisp. That's actually decent. Probably use it for a couple of teams. Look at that pig. It's ready to get knocked at. Yeah, jump into the ring and knock people out. Probably should put someone else up front at this point, but they're given good EXP, probably because they're HP stat. Let me see if Tim Pole can get a kill with Bubble Beam on them. Is this really the only Pokemon that can be found here, though? What about upstairs? Nope, there's just a whole lot of balloons here. And now, why would there be a whole lot of balloon ghosts here? Could there be, like, a clown in the basement? That'd be very spooky. Could there be a bunch of dead bodies in the basement? Is this where the Drifloons take all the children? That'd be kind of messed up. That would be very messed up. Oh, come on. 
Is that a picture? Can't check it. Okay, table's in the way, so I have to go in. Dude, yeah, I got... Next, um... Next town, I'm definitely gonna have to start buying repels. I mean, I need the experience right now, but... I'm getting, like, a few steps in. It's just starting to feel like Kaizo Encounter, right? No, that's an exaggeration. Who am I fooling? It definitely does feel like Gen 5 encounters, though, not Gen 2. Should probably Super Potion Timpole. These things are good experience, though, let's be real. Yeah, look at that. And I don't need to have the Silk Scarf on you anymore. Hi, Mayui, thank you for the resub. Look at those happy bears in chat. Let's go in here. I think there must be something hidden in the back room, but the furniture always seems to block the way. Maybe if I go through the basement. Got a rare candy. Hang on to that for a long while. Okay, I found it. Yeah, only that seems to work. So I've moved stuff again. So if I go up now, what about here? I've been searching for a certain Pokemon. Do you have Zorua? I'll trade you a Spirit Tomb for it. Well, I don't have that. If you don't have it, then you're no use to me. Away with you. That was your problem. How rude. Like I want to trade away my Pokemon to you if you're going to be like that. Something moved. Okay, I think this is good. Now the basement should be different. Oh my god, there we go. Knew it happened! Oh hey, Ghastly! Gengar could also be good. Double up on poison type though, and it won't have Gengar won't have levitate, but Gengar is so normally so good it doesn't even need it. I don't particularly need it for its poison type, so it wouldn't feel like I'm doubling up. Hmm. I don't know how to I I don't know how to evolve into Gengar. I don't know if you use an item or a certain level up. For getting that. I suppose I could just catch it for now and see how it works out. There could be a cooler ghost in the basement. But Gengar's a demon, as we all know, so it could be nice to use. Almost never really get to use Gengar in a lot of playthroughs. Litwick in the basement. I mean, I already picked the fire starter, so I don't know about that. Okay, I caught it. Ghastly was caught. It wraps its opponent in its gas-like body, slowly weakening its prey by poisoning through the skin. It's messed up. Is it holding anything? Oh, that's a nice little party sprite. Look at that. Ghost poison... Got mean look, licking hypnosis. Can't do much right now, of course. And you know, it's ghastly. It has special and speed. That's what the family does. Egg is at... Still at that stage. Now this moved around. What am I looking for back here? The Drifloon has appeared. I haven't even made it to the next town yet. Oh, I'm paralyzed. That's right. Ah, oh, crud. Well, this sucks. Oh, God. Now we gotta sit through this for an hour. Oh, you d Please don't. Please don't. Please don't! I say that, but he's already committed to the move.
Okay, good. That was a deserved crit right there. I probably should heal this paralysis so I can run away and kill things more easily. Hang on. Hold up. Hold up. Yeah, let's do a little stretch, why don't we? Stretching is good for our body. Stretching makes me a happy, healthy moomin. Let's check down here. There's another ghastly. That was a girl. I'm just gonna run. I don't want to get paralyzed again. I think all I have to fix that is another cherry berry. Oh, that's a dead end. <sighs> oh, wait. That's also a dead end. What? I'm gonna go down this way. Okay, there's no back door there. I guess I have to go through the basement now. Oh! Okay. Hmm. That could be kind of cool to use. Maybe. It seems to be the rare encounter here. Damn. Go and protect. Hit it with a bubble. Maybe switch and stun sport as well. Let's go and lick. Switch on out. What does the coffin actually do? Haze. Wait, can you can they even fit the entirety of this of uh, its evolution's name in uh, the Gen 2 slot? I'm not even sure you can. Maybe I should just nickname it. The point of this thing is to stall, isn't it? Yeah. If it doesn't have Mummy as its ability, can it even do anything? Well, I suppose Mummy is kind of a situational ability, depending on what it does, right? Oh, my stomach rumbling. Oops, gonna crack my knuckles there. That has good defenses. It carries a mask that used to be its face when it was alive. Cries sometimes looking at it. I'm gonna nickname it anyway. How about this? This is a fun men mental image. Yeah, it's just floating carrying Majora's mask. Don't worry about it. Okay. Now... Now I think I can get into the final back room. Oh, this is how I get cut. Okay. Can't move. That was fun. I hope you come to play again soon. Guess we're done. Looks like the furniture's all moved out of the way now. Oh. And suddenly here's another one. It's protecting! I want to kill it now. I don't know. If I'm picking between Gengar and Coffin, I'm, I'm essentially choosing between do I want a speed demon that slaughters or do I want to slowly kill them with a tank? And... Depending on the difficulty of the game, I don't think a, a tank like that is going to be required. Hi, Mina. Welcome. 78. Look at that. Okay, I guess we're done here. I got the ghastly. Should probably get to the next town. That would be a good idea. Walls just usually... Like, they're not even really needed for casual runs most of the time. Unless you're building it for a specific moment, right? Bubble beam that mole. Close to 18, come on. Every day is the same. I get bored when things don't change, so I don't mind battling you. Well then. 
Is that a ranger? Yeah, it's a ranger. Ranger Terry. Timber. I got a couple of levels up, uh, level up in the house there. Can't talk. Am I running out of bubble beams, though? Got seven left. I'll finish you off with a bubble. There's 25 for Palpitoad, I believe, so we're still quite a ways from that. Okay. I could let Ghastly just get a quick level or two. This internet has no moves. You can just run Hyper Offense on all six of your Pokemon. It usually works better, yeah. Send out Pig Knight. Metal Claw. Mine didn't get that. Mine gave me a hard stone. That's what that one gave me. Kick it. Teach that friend a lesson. Ooh, it died in a single kick. Level 9. Okay, special one up by 2 there. Been quite some time since I had a Pokemon battle. Also get Haunter a lot more quickly than I'll get Laron. You say Laron, or do you say it like La Iron? Like, we get nice and fancy. Hmm. Where's this go? Lost Lauren Forest. Oh, I can go there now? Quick ball. That's implemented, too. Am I allowed? Oh, oh, I think I am. Oh, honey, you're going into the woods? Must be scary when wild Pokemon are always around. Here, have this. Oh, nice, a cleanse tag. That's actually exactly what I need. Use that tag and you'll be protected from wild Pokemon attacks. I'll believe it when I see it. Be careful, this forest is dark. Lots of people have gotten lost in there. I think there must be some Pokemon with tricky powers living there. Come on. What was the start of that track we were just hearing? Hang on, I should probably switch my lead Mon here. I want to see what's... Oh, Gen 3 music. Yeah, Petalburg Woods. I want to catch stuff here, so let me see what Pokemon there are. I haven't seen any grotto entrances still, I don't think. Okay, there's Cottony. Let's see what else I can find here. I'm probably going to stop with this game in a little bit. Just going to have my fill. I don't think I have it in me for a super long stream today, guys, but something I will do after this is I want to take a moment to um, record the other endings for Pokemon Dust. Probably going to be jarring if some of you weren't here for the, uh, the full playthrough I did a few days ago, but I want to get them recorded so I can edit them into the YouTube upload so that everyone can see all the endings. Ugh. That'll be nice. And then maybe on the weekend, or after the weekend, I could probably play Pokemon Dawn. That'd be cool. The sequel. Hmm. Anything here? Oh, I can walk here. Nice. Okay, there's Yanma. That's cool. That means I could get Yan Mega. Also a cool idea. Survive this. There we go. Well, Pokemon Dusk and Dawn are story-focused games. How am I going to read creepypastas over that? Oops. Now, I want to encounter Pokemon to see what's here. <laughs> but only getting a few steps ahead. There we go. Set the Venipede on fire. Give me my sweet EXP. Because holy crap, do I need it. Maybe I will just use the cleanse tag, because I'm sure I'll run into stuff regardless. 
Put that on. Hold this for me, pig. I might be lost right now, but I'll battle you anyway. Is there a... T I, I should probably go back a little bit. There's probably a town to the side that I'm missing. Youngster Benny. Got a cottony. Set it on fire. I should probably look at the town map. I don't remember the layout of a lot of stuff. Especially an updated Unova. 168. Perloin. I can kick that. Peg Knight is now my strongest Pokemon again. Who saw that coming? Can't really do anything in the water gym, but it can slaughter here, that's for sure. Boongus! There's a Fungus, a Moongus? Heck yeah, there is. It's gone. So close to 19. Youngster Benny defeated. I don't stand a chance if I fight when I'm lost. Hang on, let me take a look at the town map. Will-O-Wisp is a good TM to get. Okay, there's a town that there. I should probably stop by there first, to be honest. I don't remember that town. Is it is it a black and white two only location? Whoa, the cleanse tag is actually working. Did y'all see that? I'm gonna have to ask the dev if they actually buff the cleanse tag, because normally it, like, never does anything. I managed to do a whole ass sprint there. It's also barely a town. Well, we should stop by if we can heal. Getting to town and resting up there is probably a good stopping point anyway. Probably will box uh, Aaron. I'm kind of feeling I probably will go with Gengar. I'm wandering the world trying to find a place where I belong. How about you? There's still trainers on this route to beat. Let's take him out. Trainer class is... Oh, it's a ranger again. I couldn't really tell that was supposed to be his hat. Oh no, it wants a hug. Get out of here, macaroni eyebrows. We don't want to be friends with you. Ooh, that kick really hurt, didn't it? Should let someone else get some love, too. But who's he got next? Bullpix. Oops, this box is getting killed. Um, I'll send out Ghastly and then switch to Timpole. I think Ghastly evolves at, like, level 22 or something, right? No idea how the in implements trade evos, whether they made Link Cable an item or just made it, like, level 30-something. Really depends on the game. This does have the split, so... Oh, give me a break, dude. This does have the split, so Shadow Ball... Uh, Shadow Ball will be a special move, so it's actually good here. Come on. Is that what the dev did for Kalos Crystal and Unova Red? I actually can't remember. Did they just make them high level, or what? Genuinely can't recall. It's been a while since I played those. I don't think I really... There were too many trade evos I had to do. Something like something fell over. Bubble that box. Yeah, box splashed. I got one badge. Wait, what would the second badge be? Maybe if I look at the trainer card, I can see that. I lost. This isn't where I belong either. That's right. You lose. Oh. I think I checked this when I played the old version, and I forgot to check it again here. Uh, Ghost Girl is the second gym leader, apparently. Roxy is fourth. Berg is uh, three. Sharon is fifth. Uh, What's-His-Face is sixth. Skyla is seventh. And uh, Drayden, was that his name? Is eighth. Silen? Silen? Is that how you say it? I don't know. I don't care about him enough. 
I'm guessing Ghost Girl is gonna be whatever... Wait, could her gym be at the nearby town or what? Maybe I should actually check that. Like cilantro. Oh, okay. Well then, I think I check that now. Lintimus Town. Is there a gym here for her? Let's look around. Or I hop in the Pokemon Center. Oh, yep, sure, Jim is right here. Well then. We'll have to save that for next time. Give you all a cliffhanger for when we go fire. Thank you for waiting. Your Pokemon are fully healed. No, Alyssa. Or Elsia, however the hell you want to say it. Do your Pokemon know HM moves? Those moves can be used even if your Pokemon faint. Strange things happen outside the town. Be careful. I'm on a journey. Why? Well, do you remember exactly why you're traveling? Yeah, to have fun. Okay, so I healed up here. Probably is best to, um, before going to Lost Lorne Forest. Hold up. I should deposit my mons. Yeah, goodbye. We don't need you anymore. Still have an egg. Just you two. You're there. This is a nice looking tile set, though. Egg is nowhere near close to hatching. Maybe she's a member of the Elite Four. We'll probably see. Oh, what's this? This is the uh, Lentimus Town Airport. Only those with a boarding pass may enter. Come back when you have a boarding pass. I see a TM, though. Shh. I'm in training to become a hex maniac. But first, I need to be able to at least see the spirits. Well, good luck with being goth, girl. Turn. Ooh, look at these towns. The spirits are strong in this place. Beware the old house just outside of town. There are ghosts. If you aren't afraid, take this. Ooh, a spell tag. That'll actually help Ghastly later. It's paying off to talk to people right now. Saving Jim for the next time. Please, young trainer. Could you spare 1,000 for an old man? All right. Oh, thank you. I must thank you somehow. Here, take this coin with you. Maybe it will bring you luck. Okay. It's not, that's okay. Thank you for your generosity, young trainer. May luck smile on you. Man traded 1,000 for an amulet coin. That is some freaking. That's a good example of a, a short-term, like, reward when you could have gotten the long-term haul there. Man, like, gave that away for nothing. There's timber here. I already got my fighting type, though. Probably doesn't have any Pokemon to do anything with it. Yeah. True enough. Hang on, let me put Ghastly up front and fight this trainer here. I also kind of want to see what other Pokemon are around. There's also the Doctor over there, but I don't really need to go back to him in that spot. No, not the egg. What the hell am I doing? You know what I should do? I should just put the amulet coin on Ghastly. While I'm training it up. It doesn't have... It only has Lick for a ghost move right now. I'm going to overwhelm you with my speed! Super speed, bro. Youngster Ryan would like to battle. Meditite's in this game. It looks very surprised. It looks like it's making a surprised Pikachu face. I'm not losing my mind. That is what it looks like, isn't it? It's another Tim Pole. Defense Curl. Give him some of them bubbles. Get a blue raspberry slushy. Double slap. A 
Looks like he got a pacifier. Oh, I can't unsee that now. Okay. Ghastly hit level 10. Weak as heck defenses, but when you're fast, you're fast. Okay, this Pokemon. Swapping Ghastly again. Maybe Roselia could take it out, because it can resist. If Meditite doesn't have pure power, what can it do? Uh, it can die. Yeah. As Chad has already said. There are a lot of Pokemon where if... Like, this game is cool, but there's a lot of Pokemon where if they don't have an ability... Because there's no abilities in this game. They're kind of just really bad. A lot of Pokemon, like, require a certain ability to go from being, like, eh to okay. Like, Mawile not having Intimidate's another bad thing. Like, without Mega Evolution, Mawile can't do, like, anything, right? At least being Steel and Fairy, that's great typing to kind of, like, tank things. But losing Intimidate means that, like, you know, you're less tanky as a result of that, because you don't get the immediate attack, uh, attack lowering. Same deal with, like, Granbull not having to Intimidate. I'm not even sure if Archeops is in the game, but if Archeops doesn't have Defeatus, then Archeops is just busted. I highly doubt they put in Slacking for the same reason, though. Elite Seed? Um... You know what? I probably could go for this over Poison Powder, because Stun Spore I want in general, because it's also good for catching. Poison Powder is too slow for this part of the game now. Leech Seed I might use if I'm really going to set up. Roll, roll, roll on. Okay. Hang on. I want to pop in the forest again right quick. Just want to run into a couple things. Hang on a second. Didn't... Um, didn't the Aeron learn Headbutt? Am I allowed to use that on the trees here? Does that mechanic not apply? Doesn't look like I can even interact with the trees. I'm kind of curious about that now. If I take out the Aeron and use Headbutt, I want to see if that works, to be honest. I put it away, but I'll go get it out just to try this. Okay. Hang on, I should probably check if it shows up in the party menu. That'll answer it. Nope. Doesn't. No, I don't think it'll even prompt for headbutt. It seems like they removed it as an overworld effect. So I'll just put it back. Like, I can't even interact with the tree, which you normally can even without headbutt. No headbutt encounters in this game. Probably specifically remove that so it doesn't cause, like, any issues with more missing nose. Okay. I've only run into random bugs and grass types here so far. What if I old rod the water here? Will I just get more tin poles or something else? More temples. This is the only Pokemon that exists now, apparently. Is there anything here? This cleanse tag. Wait a second. I don't even have it on. Pig Knight's the one who has it on. I want to encounter things. I'm just not finding them now. I just have really bad luck earlier? Probably. Could just go beat up one more trainer down there and then exit. I see shrooms. Oh, there's the encounters. All I had to do was point it out and bam. Yeah, there's Yanma. Yanma's another Pokemon that really kind of... Yeah, Yan Mega can either have Speed Boost or Tinted Lens. Not having those is a bit of a letdown, yeah. I need to research the experience points of Pokemon for my homework. Both of those can be pretty good, depending on your se the setup of that Pokemon, right? School Kid Rochelle would like to battle. Carablast. Oh, this thing. It's 
spooky time. I'm gonna send in the pig. Enemy Carablast got Peck. Oh, I wasn't expecting you to have that. Is he normally? Either way, he's getting flame wheeled. He ain't killing me. I know that the Embor family at least has decent HP, right? That's one of their better stats, I think. Level 11. Okay, you're getting there, Ghastly. You're doing just great. Shelmet. Yeah, I'm gonna send it back in. Let it get the EXP. Swap. I'll probably learn Curse as I level up. I'm not sure if I want to do that. Oh, speaking of Curse... For a split second, I thought the, um, the Ghost-type one was about to activate, because that's what I, I had on the brain. Ooh, not enough. Unfortunate. Finish it. That curse helped it out. Flame wheel counts as physical because there's the split in this game. School kid Rochelle defeated. Not fair, I used moves I wasn't expecting. Oh yeah, you're one of those battlers, huh? Netball. Anything hidden? Oh, big mushroom. I don't think I'm getting a free shiny stone just like that. Is my team well equipped for ghost types? Honestly, training up the Ghastly might help me out, but Ghastly's obviously vulnerable to ghost types itself. Uh oh, don't want to fall down there. Dude, where's the encounters? Uh, I, I think I have to beat, um... Ghost Girl to use Cut as well, don't I? Bro, I'm trying to find wild Pokemon. What happened? I have a riddle for you. Do you know what it, what is distant but close? Uh, not wild Pokemon right now, apparently. Fix my seat here. I'm running back and forth, trying to run into another Mon, and I'm <laughs> not finding anything else. I'm not even- I don't even have the cleanse tag user up front, so I'm so confused why this is happening all of a sudden. Oh, pursuit? Oh, that's unfortunate. I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. That's unfortunate indeed. Oh well. Worst case scenario, Peg Knight, Spam, and Flame Wheel should help me out with the gym. Unless, of course, she's got, like, a Chandelure Pokemon. No problem. Joltik. Flame wheel. The earth is both distant and close because of its size. True enough. I suppose that kind of makes sense. Okay, I think we can start heading back to town. After I just see a couple more wild encounters. Because I've only ran into a couple things. I feel like there's definitely more here. But I'm only seeing the common mons. Took a while to run into anything aside from, um, Drifloon inside the old house. Poison gas. What? Pig is learning how to fart? What? Did it always get this? I don't remember this. How dare you call my pig smelly? The difference between winning and losing. Wow, that's a pretty disappointing answer. The game is like your pig is trying to smell. That's very mean. The pig is trying his best. Y'all call him smelly. Lived across a pig farm, it smells. Yeah, but... Oh, hold up. Oops. <laughs> this isn't ghastly. Or Pig Knight. It's frickin' Roselia. Pig Knight normally learns smog naturally, not poison gas. Okay. 
Most fire types just randomly get smog, I guess, because smoke from fire. Maybe they removed that from the game? I don't know. Still haven't really noticed any grottos. I've probably missed them. Might backtrack later. Dude, where are the Pokemon at? First, there's too many. Now I can't find any. At least I'm adding steps towards the egg hatching, but... Speedrunners hate me right now. Come on. Come on! Come on! Where are the Pokemon? There we, there we go! That only took an eternity. And it's just Venipede. Is, you think the cleanse tag could be worsening, uh, uh, working on any position? Maybe. That could be it. Lost Lorne Forest, take caution not to become lost. Well. I took a little peeksie. Let's see. I took a little peek trying to see what else is there, and I just couldn't find anything. Just more sawaddles and venipedes. May you see your mons. Thank you for waiting. Your Pokemon are fully healed. We hope to see you again. Oh, did it just turn nighttime? 6 p.m. Hang on, do you think that just changed the encounters out here? Is that too much to hope for? I'm beginning to think the cleanse tag... Hang on. Maybe I should take the cleanse tag off. There's... This is definitely a nighttime track. If they change the music for nighttime, then they definitely change the encounters. Hold up. You can find a rare Pokemon in the forest, but it takes a repel trick. It's level 12. Hold up. If I go in there with Ghastly and repel trick... I wasn't paying attention to what level the Venipedes and stuff were, though, right? Maybe I try this. Buy some of these. Hang on, I'm, wanna, I'm curious now. I don't want to do the gym, and since the Pokemon encounters might be different now, we could take a couple extra minutes to check this out while we can. Because now I won't be able to find anything. Let's try. Okay. Gastly's level 11. I'm gonna take the, the cleanse tag off in case it's still working. Come on. Okay, I bumped into something. There's Sawaddle. Okay, it'd probably be a good idea to level up Gastly once. Get it to level 12 then. I'm curious now. If I find any nighttime exclusive Pokemon now, I might not be able to catch them next stream, so... Take a quick look. I used a Repel? Uh, yeah, that that's how you... How do you think the Repel trick works? By not using it? 48. Excellent. Let's keep looking. Bo -bo -bo. Let's keep going. Found Zor is, uh, Zorua. Is this it? It's gotta be. Well then. I guess I could run Zorork. Especially since in Black and White 1, it's an event Pokemon for some reason. I hope it can't flee. I'm gonna use Stun Spore on it. It's only found at level 12 as a rare encounter. Is it like a 1%? This would be perfect for the ghost gym next time, too. Uh, quick question, what level does it evolve? Because I never have that memorized. Uh, I'm just gonna go Pokeballs now. I'm scared of critical hit in it. It evolves at level 30. Okay, we're not gonna get it evolved before the gym, but we can get it trained up a little bit. Ooh, okay, I got away. It's level 12. This can survive a Mega Drain. I'm not even buffed. Just hit with one. Oh, okay. For a split second there, I thought Ma Roselia a little bit stronger than I thought. A little bit stronger than I thought, but okay. 
Uh, let's try a Great Ball. I got two of them to use up. Don't need to really Dust Ball it. One, two, three. All right, nice find. Guess it makes sense in Lost Lauren Forest to be here. To protect itself... Oh, my stomach rumbling a little bit. I'm getting kind of hungry. Protect itself, Zorua changes its appearance to that of another Pokemon or even a person. No illusion on it, though. That should be okay. Not sure if paralysis affects catch rate. It doesn't in vanilla Gen 2. Look at that icon. Scratch, Pursuit, Hone Claws. Okay. So is Zorark a, a mixed attacker? Actually, sure. Weak defenses. I wonder if I'll end up using Zorua over the, um, the Ghastly in the long run. Can be mixed. Okay, yeah, it's true. Illusion would be useless against AI anyway, so not having an ability is not a problem here. What's Pursuit's power in this current gen? 40. It's still a stab option, so it's good enough right now. Don't have black glasses, though. Yeah, this is okay. I think this is actually going to be our MVP for the coming gym. Ghastly is still on the back burner as a potential, potential Pokemon later, but... I like the idea of using Zorua more now. I wasn't expecting to be able to get one. It's cool. Oh, I, I could go trade it for a Spirit Tomb. What do you guys think? Do you want to go... Should I go trade the super rare little fox friend for a Spirit Tomb? Well, no. <laughs> yeah. I put it up front. A chump. Repels effect wore off. Nah. I kind of want to see its back sprite in a second. So, was Zorua nighttime only? I don't think I've seen different stuff. Maybe the, uh, the zebra was a little bit rare. I don't know if you can adjust the clock. Fool's Gold let you with the password input, but... On the title screen, anyway. Anything here? If I was doing the po a Pokedex run, yeah. Could go for that. Look at that little fox friend. Sendo Temple. I might want to give it a couple levels or two before we fight the gym leader. That should be easy enough to do. Maybe just kind of level it up a little bit at the start of next stream before I, um, before I record for YouTube. Take you out. Either way, we got, I think we got a good amount of Pokemon right now. Not sure what's in the egg. I'll probably end up boxing it, whatever it is. Oh, there's a fly buzzing around my drink. Get out of here, you. Barely any XP on these guys. Blech. Oh, well, that's fine. This is probably a good spot to save, yeah. I've been going for a little over three hours. That's usually a good length for this stuff. Okay, game saves. Anyways, this has been... Pokemon Black and White 3 Genesis so far. Uh, the plot hasn't really uh, started yet. We've just kind of gotten the basic, you know, start your Pokemon journey type deal. This has been pretty fun so far. I'm liking it. I like Gen 2 stuff a lot, especially when people, like, um, like, implement, like, original graphics in, like, later Pokemon. So far, my team is made up of Mons that I usually don't get to play with, which is nice. Um, the goal isn't going to be to complete the decks, just kind of play it casually, enjoy the story, the atmosphere. I like the D-Made music a lot. A lot of the times, D-Made music can just sound like noise that only just gets the melody right, but this sounds pretty good. I like it a lot. Anyways, I'm having fun. I'm enjoying this team. Maybe on the weekend I can do another long session of this. It's actually a holiday weekend here in Canada, so I probably might get an extra day to stream since I have nowhere to go. <laughs> Anyways, hope you're all having fun. If you're watching on YouTube, this is where it stops for now. Have a good night. Bye-bye.